Hello and welcome back to another episode of Settlers Mod. It's actually good to be back. Took a little bit of a break here, but um, I am actually really enjoying this playthrough. So I figured, you know what? Thursday is a good day to go ahead and play some PC Seven Days to Die. Oh, look at you trying to hide in the ground. I don't think so, buddy. So what's up, guys? Good to see you again. Uh, I hope your holidays are going well. Uh, speaking of holidays, I just want to kind of thank you guys for coming out and chilling with us here on the holidays, right? Your time is valuable. I know you guys are all crazy busy. So even just stopping by and saying hello, how you doing, is much appreciated. Hey, Bloom, how are you? Hey, Joel, laugh out loud. Hello. Um, Damien, what's up, dude? Kaz, uh, Kazik and Jer, what's up, man? Jer, you almost, why am I doing this? With... I'm actually feeling really good today. I had a great sleep last night. It was way shorter, but it was a lot more solid. So, um, today is going to be a good day. Now, um, Hugo, welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for this. Holy crap. Look right behind me here. Let's give it to this guy. So last time, uh, we did some live streaming on this. Uh, I was out getting parts and stuff. Oh crap. Look at that. Okay. You know what? I'm going to just go ahead and eat that. We are so full on supplies. It's not even funny. Uh, maybe I will get rid of that, those rocket shells. Maybe, maybe that's a good choice. Uh, you know what? Mechanical parts are actually still pretty common. Uh, zombie master coins are not as common, so we're going to leave that behind. Holy crap, it is um, 2035. So let's let's start heading home here, and I'll just hit up some rocks and stuff I may find on the way back. So how's everyone doing? Happy holidays as well. Like, we're literally in the holiday seasons um, for almost every religion, I think. Um, maybe. I don't know. But whatever. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Um, whatever else you celebrate. I actually don't know all the holidays myself. Um, Elmer, how are you? The mask links. How are you, dude? So, uh, oh yeah, you guys, uh, my beard's really coming out. I guess it's been a little while since you've seen the camera, but, uh, she's coming together. She has a whole bunch of beard oil in her right now, and oh my god. Um, it's, it's literally like having, um, a friggin' boot brush on my face. Like, it's, it's really thick. <laughs> it's not very comfortable, so I'm not sure if I'm digging it yet. I, can, I, like, I almost literally feel like I can feel the hairs in my skin. Like, that's how big... No, you little bastard. We spent so much time chasing you last time. I'm not even going to bother this time around. Or maybe I will. Can we, uh... Will you, will you run away from here? Or can we just keep hitting you? Yeah, see, that's what happens when they get stuck. You hit them and they stumble back and then they keep going. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. Oh, look at all these, these resources. Let's get this up. I'm not going to bother chasing him for a whole episode again. That was absolutely insane. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys caught the last one, but holy crap. The whole time was just chasing one of those suckers, and he still got away. Um, I need to get, like, a sniper rifle or something to take those guys out. Hey, Black Saw, what's up, dude? I'm feeling hippie skippy. <laughs> um, I don't mind the hair, honestly, because the hair is warm in the winter, but I'm still kind of on the edge about the whole beard and the mustache thing. I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me, pun intended. But for now, it is what it is. Hey, Soundlog, what's up? Cassie, I believe I said hi to you, but if I have not, hello. Is there going to be a PS4 stream today? Most likely not, dude. Not today. Hey, Harmony, what's up? Hey, Rich, how you doing, man? Okay, so I think I got them all. Uh, let's go ahead here and hop on that bike and get my ass back home. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Can't even see the bike. It's right in front of me. I got bike blindness. That's what's going on. Oh, but there's so much to smash. Okay, whatever. I'm going to just keep smashing on my way back home. Hey, Preston, what's up, dude? It looks good, Skippy, like a pirate. Um, actually, it's coming in pretty even. I haven't been trimming it or anything, so um, I'm kind of happy about that, how even it's growing. Um, apparently, that's a big deal when growing a beard. Um, less you have to trim it, the better. Which kind of makes sense, I think. You know what I mean? Less maintenance, the better. It's kind of like owning a smart car. When it dies, you just throw it out and get another one. Uh, the beard oil has helped a lot. Uh, our hardwood. Uh, oh, man, it does like crazy. There's some days where it doesn't bother me, but like today, it just it, I have my heat full blast too because it's crazy cold out. That's probably what it is. It's just like the um, the gas heat drying out the house. And then in turn, 
drying out me face. Not a very comfortable feeling. Okay, hopefully there's no zombie surprises in here for us. Uh, let's go check our forges, make sure they're topped up and they're going full. Oh, look at this. This one's not even doing anything. Shame on you, Forge. Okay. And that sucker on and make ourselves uh, some cement. There we go. And this one here has 89 minutes on it. Let's fix that. I want these suckers just to keep going and going and going. We definitely have enough resources now. Um, what I'm thinking is we should probably turn this house as well. Um, I'm thinking of just encasing it in concrete and then making the entrance up top. Um, just so it's a little easier to maintain. Because I don't want screamers to get in here, but I do want to increase my output a little bit more. Awesome, there we go. Okay, so we got the steel going, we got everything else going. We should be able to go back and make some more. Um, oh, shoot. I've got to grab mix. Let's go run back and do that. Um, hey, Bo, what's up? Brush and the oil. Oh, the brush feels so good. I got myself a nice wood brush, too. And every time I brush my my uh, my mustache, it's like got the smell of hickory. It's uh, it's uh, made out of hickory. And oh, my God, guys. It just When you're brushing your mustache with a, a piece of hickory... And you can smell it, it just it makes you feel like a man. Like Ron Swanson type man, you know what I mean? It's awesome. That I do enjoy about it. Okay. What did I have to come back here for, guys? Uh, makes you want bacon. Makes you want bacon. Definitely makes you want bacon. Bought this game this morning before work. Can't wait to go home and play. Oh, Josh, you must be pretty new then, man. Welcome to the channel. Um, great game on PC or on console. Um, I would highly, highly recommend getting it. I've thrown thousands of hours into it. Um, now, I have been getting a little tired of it lately. I'm not going to lie. I'm a human being. I can only play 5,000. Uh, 5,000. Oh, it's more than that because I got 4,000 on this account. I, I think I have like 1,500 on my second account. And then on console, oh, God, I got a lot on there as well. I almost thought I heard zombies. Maybe I thought maybe we had some neighbors. I've given up too on living on the first level of the house. We now live on the second level because wandering hordes tear up this place like mad. So let's get some of this stuff put away because we all love organization, right? Um, you should know, Mom, that I lurk around. <laughs> you guys are so weird. I love it. Ah, <clears throat> oh, delicious. Delicious. Uh, the squeak is back today, too, guys. Um, apparently, you can hear this magical squeak that is very silent coming out of my, my cup, but I cannot hear it very well myself. I actually have to like, take my headset off and listen for it. That's how real that got. Okay, so uh, we do have... I, I went back to get cement mix, damn it. That's okay. We'll, we'll go back another time. We have a ton of stone now. Um, that's good. How are we doing on sand? I think I was making some more. Let's go check that out. Um, our cement mixers are just around the corner here. And we got a little bit of sand in that one. And we got mix on the way. Okay, so I'm going to make another whole stack of sand since we do have, um, a good amount of stone. There we go. Uh, I'm going to have to go out again, I think, next day. And we're going to have to go out and do some more grinding. But, hey, it is what it is, right? Um, who's here? I'm kind of lurking. Good morning, everyone. Hey, how you doing? Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Hey. I do have some corn seeds. That's good. We're gonna have to start a garden soon, guys. I, I think that's the reality of it. Um, I don't have very many potatoes, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and turn these into potato seeds before I forget. Um, now I'm thinking of adding the garden somewhere on like the first level. Uh, we could just put some dirt down out here and make a garden out here. That would work. Yeah, that would definitely work. So what I'm gonna do here is um, we should have a crap load of dirt sitting around. Well, we only have 184 dirt fragments. <laughs> okay, I haven't done much digging apparently through dirt. So um, I'm gonna just make some here. Okay, man. What's up? Welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for the sub. I hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, where can I get some information on what Settlers Mod actually does? Um, Till I game, I do have a link to the description on my website, um, but I actually need to update it because I recently did um, a large expansion to the mod, so things have changed a little bit. 
Um, but you'll get the gist of it from my website, skippy3.com. Whoa. Uh, Maurice, welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for the sub. So what I'm going to do here is bang on this wall to get to the outside. There we go. And that'll lead right to our farm so I won't have to run around in an awkward manner. Because that's, that's, I do that well. But, you know what I mean? Okay, let's uh, let's break up some chairs and crap here. Let's get rid of all this. There we go. <laughs> I guess I could have used that for the cloth, but destruction is always more fun. Uh, now the oh wait, there's there's one piece of cloth. Do you from all that cloth? I only got one. Now I don't know if this is on the outside block. I think it is. The easy way to find this out is by taking this sucker out. Nope, it's on the inside block, so I'm gonna have to take them out. Damn it. Maybe that other row is on the outside? The other row is on the outside. It's actually sitting on this little piece here. Oh, that's clever. Good job, guys. Whoa, where did it go? Okay, it's down. Oh, wait, is it? Got so oh, no, it is. Wait, how did they get both blocks sitting on the inside like that? Oh, well, I, I, I can't explain that one. So we're just going to go ahead and smack them all out. It's not like it's hard anymore. Uh, hey, Elmer. Uh, I'm the third person to be on the video. What do you mean, dude? Uh, oh, Jay, you just found a winter biome, dude? Yeah, I want to check that stuff out, too. I've also, guys, I've been playing... Oh, wow. I've been playing a lot of Wildlands as well. I know what? We have a ton of steel now. Let's go ahead and start making some more, um... More pickaxes. Here we go. I'm gonna make uh, four more of these suckers. There we go. We have some forest ground. I'm gonna throw that outside. We don't have a lot, um, but at least we can start um, replicating some foods, right? I should have a hole or something kicking around. How is the weather here? The weather is um, winter until summer, basically. That's, that's the weather. <laughs> Actually, it's not storming out today, so I can't complain at all. All right, so we put that down. Let's go and uh, see if we have a hoe here. Check out our hoe situation. Always good to have a couple hoes kicking around. You never know. You never know. Um, I'm not much of a farmer myself, but it's necessary in the game. I just I don't enjoy farming. That's just simply what it is. Do I happen to have any fertilizer kick, kicking around from just random loot? I probably do, actually. Let's go check that out. Let's see if I have any fertilizer. It's under random crap. I could make some, but screw that. We can go. Oh wait, I do. Here we go. Three, oh. <laughs> uh, three of them. Awesome. Let's go and fertilize three plots of ground. It's boiling here. It just had forty-two degrees weather. Oh, nice, nice. Enjoy that. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll just do this back part here. Whatever. It's so hard to tell the fertilizer what blocks we've actually ended up fertilizing. Level 5 hunting rifle stock. I should just scrap that a long time ago. That ain't doing shit. That's not even worth keeping. You'd have to combine like 8,000 of those to get a level 100. Alright, there we go. See, not all potatoes are going to be multiplied. Um, it's a start. It's a start. Farmer Skippy. Okay, we'll get the rest of this stuff put away now. We still have all that crap in the mini bike too. Um, hey, Louie, what's up, dude? Hey, YY, good to see ya. YY's been hitting the uh, Lord's Mobile up like crazy. We have a kick-ass guild on there, too. Um, really, really um, owning our our land on there. Getting really organized. Which is really, really nice. One Inch Punch, welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for the sub. Um, if you guys don't see your notification come up, it is simply because you have your default settings on YouTube. Um, and the default setting is that we can't not see your subs. So unless you have your subscription shown as public, um, you'll never come up on the subscription box in people's windows. I just hit my mic. Did you guys hear that? Did you hear me hit the, uh, like this little mesh right here? Uh, I'm going to move my, my thing out a little bit. See, see how it's hanging down? This little mesh right here. I always bump this stupid thing. But I don't think you can hear it in the in the recordings because I have never replicated it. <laughs> um, hey, Garnet, what's up? Catching up with the chat here a little bit. I'm hungry and sleepy. Um, I'm always hungry and sleepy. That's that's the problem. Is um, 
I get hungry and then I get sleepy right after. <laughs> Big Mike. What's up, guys? Um, C Ted, welcome to the channel. Uh, holy crap, the chat's moving quickly here. Um, hey, Lada, Lada, how you doing, man? Welcome to the community. So, guys, um, I, now I, I see a few people mention Neebs in the channel. So, um, I haven't been able to watch the video yet, so please don't ruin it for me. Please do not ruin what's in the video. Uh, but I do want to welcome you to the channel. Uh, we're a little bit different here. We're more of a gaming community. Um, we play a lot of different games over console, PC, um, everything. Um, I'm just kind of, this is just kind of like the face of the community, right? My stream and stuff. So if you guys are looking for communities of gamers for, uh, that play like different games and stuff, definitely hit my, hit up my discord as well. Um, I do believe you can do exclamation mark discord and that'll bring up the information right in the stream for you. Um, but let's see what my inventory looks like here. Okay. We're doing a lot better. Definitely going to put that honey away. We don't need none of that. Uh, you know what I haven't even done on this playthrough? I haven't even gone to see the trader yet. Um, I have not seen the trader yet at all. So we have four nature's gifts. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, chill out and um, partake here while we talk. Now, uh, this is my mod, um, if you guys are new to the channel as well. Um, this is my mod, and um, what I've done is I've added these nature's gifts in. Um, if you read the description, it says, This really is a gift from Mother Nature herself. Smoke this for wellness. Impress your friends with badassness. Crafted with paper and a funny-smelling plant. Um, in order to unlock being... You can find these, but in order to make these with um, the plant that you can find, uh, you have to learn Alt Medicine when you reach 18. So what that is, is if you go to your skills, look up Alt Medicine... Uh, once you reach level 18, you can go ahead and buy it. It's 10 points. Uh, so you can actually make them. Do we have any funny smelling plants laying around? No, we do not. We, we do not. Okay, so we can't make them, um, but we can definitely use them. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start using these suckers up. Marco, welcome to the channel, dude. Extra coffee is needed today. Yeah, I have a ton of coffee going here today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use these. So it looks like he eats some. Unfortunately, I cannot add custom, like, holy crap. We have a whole ton of zombies visiting us, guys. I cannot add, like, custom stuff in like that. So we, we, I just have to use the eating thing, right? Okay, so now that I've used four of those, you've probably seen that my wellness went up here a little bit, right? So now I'm chill. I'm relaxed. We're all good. Arthur, welcome to the channel. Um, but unfortunately, if you go look at your character, um, he's going to be a little useless for a few hours. You know what I mean? Like minus three stamina every two seconds. Um, even a high level player, you can see like my stamina is all the way up. Um, it, it's, it's eating away at it pretty quickly. Like if I were running or something, I'd run down pretty fast. But beware. If you can go and find yourself a chocolate bar, which you can find in most food containers... Uh, James, welcome to the channel. Um, you can go ahead and eat a chocolate bar. It'll give you a little bit of fullness. Um, a you might want to have a drink afterwards, but it'll help bring you down and get rid of that buff. So I recommend if you're going to use these, I got to get rid of that can coming out of these chocolate bars too. I got to turn that into plastic. So I recommend like if you find one out while you're doing stuff, don't don't use it. Do, do not use it. It's a pretty it's a pretty nasty buff. It's kind of cool just to use it around home, right? Okay, so we got that going on. Um, I heard a bunch of zombies, but I th think they actually moved past us. Like, I, I heard some busting and stuff going on, so I'm not entirely sure where they are. What's up, dog? So Gramps is um, right beside us today, chilling out. Uh, YouTube hates me, too. I typed too fast. Oh, I'm horrible with the phone trying to type. Mmm. Game guy, welcome to the channel, dude. Um, our stream's a little bit different, man. I, I do really, really um, like to uh, talk to my audience. And when um, when people spam in the chat with a bunch of stuff, it's really, really, really hard to do that. So um, we do have active admins in the chat, and they, they will time you out for doing that. So uh, don't get insulted. Um, I know a lot of you probably watch bigger channels, and the chat flies. Um, but I do my best to talk to you guys at the same time. Lisa J with the $5 super chat. Neebs Gaming just sent me here. They talked to you about today's video. That's awesome. Welcome to the channel, Lisa. I do hope you uh, stick around and enjoy our community. And thanks for the, the super chat. Yeah, that's pretty badass of Neebs guys to, uh, to say some stuff. Now, I haven't seen the video yet. I'm, I'm really anxious to see it. Um, Manuel, welcome to the channel, dude. Um, so please don't ruin it for me. I, I haven't seen it yet. Apparently it's really good at a hop said, um, 
they spent a little while talking about me, which is awesome. You know what I mean? They're such a large channel to go after someone with like 75,000 subs. Blew my mind when they stopped in the stream that one day. Like, I actually ended up fanboying. I choked. You know how long it's been since I legitimately choked while, like, doing something public like this? But they managed to do it to me. Uh, let's send bobs. <laughs> hey, hey, Bo, do you want bobs or boobs? Mmm. Hey, what's up, Tim? Uh, Tim Can, how you doing, man? Welcome to the channel as well. Um, my community, guys, very open. Uh, it's um, we're we're not an obnoxious community, but we may say a few things that may offend people. But they're funny, offensive stuff, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, I don't know why my stream cut off there again. Um, I hope this isn't YouTube having troubles. Okay, um, are we still are we still here? Like, what's what's going on here? Sorry, guys. Um, I don't know what that's about. I don't think that's me. Um, that might be YouTube again. So, um, I hope the stream's still going. Did it stop for you guys? Are we, are we still good to go? I'm wa I'm watching my uh, my meter go all crazy here right now. There's a blizzard instead of a thunderstorm. I cannot wait to see that. My terrible mustache. What's up, dude? How you doing? Okay. Um, I don't know what the fuck's going on with the YouTube here, guys. Uh, I can't even read that. Bronx 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 writer. Welcome to the stream, dude. Thanks for the follow. And still see ya. Okay, that's weird. I don't know, guys. Um, hope this would be the worst day for that to start happening again. Um, it's been really hard for my channel. Like, I haven't been able to upload videos. Like, there's three days where I just couldn't upload a video. Okay, getting stuck at 4%. And then um, other days where streaming just ends up being a little funker. Okay, I'm going to actually stop the preview in the background there. Sorry, guys. There we go. I think, I think we're okay. Hasn't gone green on the YouTube end. But if you guys say we're good then I will trust you. I keep pressing I for inventory because I've been playing Wylands a little bit lately as well. Okay, I shouldn't be lagging anymore. Yeah, sorry guys. I, I don't know what's going on with that. It should, it should be done with. Um, it's green on both ends, so we, we should be fine. We should be fine. Okay. I hear you making noise out here. Where you guys at? Where you guys at? Come at me, bros. Well, it's morning anyways, but... I, I cannot find these guys at all. Marco Polo, welcome to the channel, dude. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're uh, enjoying the follow, the sub. I hope you're enjoying the content, man. Oh, here we are, it's a meth head. What's up, buddy? Um, so Settler's Mod, guys, is all about the headshots. So if you do uh, choose to play Settler's Mod, I actually really recommend jacking up your Blood Moon Horde amounts. That way you'll get more zombies. They're easier to kill, and they don't give nearly as much XP, though. Um, so it's balanced out either way, right? But I do like the concept of um, bashing zombies' heads and having them die, right? Um, now, this is also part of me trying to... 12 down, 14 up. No, that's about right, Jer. That's about right. Um, is it still going? YouTube's... Um, no, it's it's YouTube, man. Uh, my end's green now and YouTube's red. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Let's see internet lately. No sense in getting mad. Just keep going through it. Okay. So, let's head out here. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, um, let's get ourselves some food and water and get rid of our hole. And then we will head out and get some more resources here. Whole bunch of resource gathering right now, doing all that dirty work. There we go. Put that away. Put that away. Uh, corn. We definitely don't need that many ears of corn on us. Definitely not a necessity. Hey, what's up, Ultimate? Well, welcome to the channel, dude. Yeah, they let me. Uh, they stopped in the stream uh, uh, like a week and a bit ago. Actually, I think it was a week ago Monday. Yeah, they're a pretty cool uh, group of guys, so I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen it yet. I've been streaming, so hopefully I can see it soon. Got to treat your hoe goods. But yes, yes, you got to put them away. You can't just bring your hoe with you everywhere. Okay. 
Now uh, we're good on food. We're good on food. We are good on water. Let's get our butts out of here, guys, and get some gathering done. Um, NJ Comics, welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for the sub. All right. So um, I think we're going to head out towards the mountains again this time. We headed north last time. I kind of keep wanting to head out on different directions. Sorry, guys. Like, oh, this is so weirding me out having, like, facial hair. Um, I've never let it grow this long ever in my life. So it's kind of feels feels really weird. Looks like I'm trying to pick my nose. Oh, the one thing I didn't do was uh, combine some more steel pickaxes. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Switching over laundry. Okay. Okay, Jolene. I think we got it. There we go. Hop on to our Burke. Can you say my German name? My German name? Yeah, I, I don't know, guys. I think it's YouTube this time doing that. I apologize. I, I don't know. Weird. Weird, weird. Okay. And it could be just our shitty friggin' ISP here who refuses to, to do upgrades to their system because they have the monopoly. Um... Frank, we need more competition. Now, that's a good pickaxe. This is an awesome pickaxe, dude. Um, what you do to get to your pickaxe going like that, to be badass, um, Skunky, welcome to the channel, um, is make sure you have it repaired, um, but you do drop um, quality when you repair it. So you got to watch out for that, all right? Um, crawl, welcome to the channel. Um, but to get it up there, what you want to do is, um, you know what, I'm going to just search mine, that way I can show you guys both of them. Ah, here we go. Uh, so you have one that's called mining tools, and you can raise this by using your, um, mining tools, right? Like your iron pickaxe, your iron axe, all the other stuff. And then you can max out your miner 69er, and what this does is, um, by the time you're done it, increases your block damage by 100. Um, you lose a lot less stamina, 50% less, and you get 50% more from the harvest. Um, and as this improves as well, once I get this to 100, I'll do another plus 100% block damage. Uh, so one of the first things I always concentrate on, especially on the, um, a playthrough I know I'm going to be doing a large build, is to get my miner 69er and all my mining tools and stuff up right off the bat. Hey Lauren, what's up? Oh, it's good to see you in the stream. Thanks, thanks very much. Back, I ran too fast up the stairs, I'm out of breath. Oh, Jolene, you should just use the chairlift. Um, I don't want Christmas to end. Uh, I want winter to end. And unfortunately, winter is our Christmas is a part of winter. So, yeah, not a big fan of the winter stuff at all. Um, Jenny Cooper says, hey, Skippy, big fan of Neebs Gaming. They are funny. They are, they are um, a bunch of funny guys. Now, I usually, like, I will admit, I don't venture out on YouTube too much. Um, like as far as watching other people's content and stuff. Um, a, as a Let's Player, I really don't um, want to like copy other people's styles. You know how like you end up emulating things you see, um, even subconsciously? Um, I kind of just wanted to keep my stuff like my own stuff, right? But um, I've always dreamed of making cinematic Let's Plays. And then one day I was watching Seven Days to Die and then Neebs Gaming got suggested to me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to check these guys out. These guys have some views. They, they must be pretty damn good. And to my, my surprise, it wasn't some guy with a webcam screaming and yelling and just acting, acting obnoxious. It was actually very well edited cinematic content um, with guys who actually, you know, although they're very jokey and stuff, they're incredibly mature. Um, that's what I think I really appreciate about them. They're incredibly mature. Um, Evans, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow, man. Thank you for the sub. Like I said, guys, if you don't see your sub come up... Oh, and Eric, you too. It's um, it's because you have your YouTube settings to private. It's the default stuff. Um, can't remember where to get to those settings, but they're somewhere in there. I think they're under your account or something. Hey, Crumped, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Whoa, shit! Get off of me, meth head. Jesus. Fuckers come out of nowhere sometimes. And I do occasionally swear, so if that's a problem for you guys too, you know. It's nice of you to stop by, but I definitely won't be changing that anytime soon. We just started summer here. Where are you from again, Bo? Where are you from again? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm Canadian, guys, so... Um, winter up here is not a novelty, right? Um, Heather Porter, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the sub. When... When I play games, and they do a winter theme, I get offended, okay? That's how Canadian I am, right? I'm like, it's winter. Don't do a winter theme. I don't want to see more winter. I want to see summer. Do a tropical theme. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, it's funny, because uh, we've been playing lots of Lords Mobile as a community as well. Um, we have a, a kick-ass um, hive going on. 160 members strong, 120 million might in three weeks. Um, we're really making a name for ourselves on that server. Um, but anyways, on that game, they did that. They did, like, the winter, <laughs> the winter theme. I'm um, just like... It's like snowstorming out. We're buried in snow. I don't want to see that in the game I'm playing. Unless, like, it's a survival game where I'm in the snow. Land down under Australia. Yes, yes, that's right, that's right. Um, surprisingly, I have a lot of Australian fans as well. I'm almost at 780k might. Nice, nice. And, like I said, guys, 95% of our players are free to play. Um, they don't spend any money. It's... It's a good game when you can play in that style. Well organized and uh, combative. Uh, you won't like the 35 plus degrees here. Oh, dude. I can handle that any day over freezing, man. I, I, I can sweat my balls off all day and people are like, oh, you can only take off so many clothes, but you can put on clothes, which is a huge fallacy because when you're um, freezing, putting on more clothes makes it worse. Because you sweat more, and then you sweat through the clothes, and then that freezes and makes it even colder. Um, but at least when you're hot, you can hop in the cold shower, right? Um, cold, you can hop in the cold shower, but or a hot shower, but still not the same. You, you, you. Yeah, but that's because you live literally in the Arctic, um, um, Jolene. <laughs> I would take sticky balls over shriveled frozen blue balls any fucking day, man. Any day. Any days. You. I would um I'd rather them be sticking than um going blue and falling off because I'm freezing. Uh Grog, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. No clothes, get naked. Yeah, actually, um, a lot of people that you find um, frozen to death actually end up taking off their clothes when they hit hyperthermia. Because um, the body wants you to take them off, right? It's telling you to take off those fucking clothes. They're soaking wet and I'm freezing. And that's like one of the last things people do before they die from it. No more sperm production if they freeze. Um, yeah, you just freeze it. <laughs> That's all, dude. Uh, um, my friend put his goldfish outside while he was cleaning the house on his on his balcony in the middle of winter and completely forgot about them. I went outside the next day to have a... This is when I used to smoke. Don't smoke, guys. It's bad for you. This is when I used to smoke. I, I went out there and I looked and I'm like, uh, dude. <laughs> he comes outside. He's like, holy shit, my fish. The, like, the whole thing was frozen. It was like a frozen scene of fish. It was absolutely amazing to see, actually. And uh, thanks for the follow. I actually totally missed your name there, but welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy the content. Um, but we brought it back inside. The thing defrosted, and I'm not even kidding you. Those freaking goldfish survived that shit. They were swimming around the next day when it all dethawed. <laughs> we were both just like, huh. So if you go away and you don't want to feed your goldfish... Um, just stick them outside or freeze them, apparently. I don't know if that's actually a really good way to do things, but it works. Yeah, literally, they, they survived. Like, they were swimming around. We thought we were going to have to, like, fish them all out and stuff. But yeah, no, they're, they're, they're just fine. They must have some sort of, like, hibernation technique or something for winter. Captain America Goldfish Edition? Pretty much, pretty much. We just, like... Whipped out some superheroes of the goldfish um, type. All right, where's my bike? It's up here somewhere. Thank God for that notification. I always used to lose my bike. Even if I put a stack of stuff or left a light on, it was just not happening for me. Bad advice? I think it's good advice. It worked for us. 
<laughs> now I'm sure maybe it's like a chancing of the the goldfish surviving, but he had a bunch of them in there, and there are no dead ones, so that might actually be a thing. Now I wouldn't try that with any other animal. <laughs> Period. Um, I'm an animal lover. I I don't um, recommend any sort of animal abuse. That's why I said you should probably check it out before you actually try it. But hey, if it worked for us, it might work for you. <laughs> Ice Age. Uh, they go into hibernation if there um, if if there is a source or no source of oxygen. Oh look, guys! It turned into um, it turned into a dodge again. Oh my God, I can't even follow these today. Um, Punny and uh, Spectral, welcome to the, the uh, channel, guys. Thanks for the follows. I do hope you stick around and enjoy the content as well. Uh, where is there? It is. And the screen's all disorganized. Okay, we'll stop looking at my uh, treads bike here and get some more stuff. If there is a source. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, Walker Girl, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Hope you enjoy the content. I'm going to have to be looking up at that all day here, I feel, today. Um, guys, if you haven't done so yet, um, if you're like one of my regular followers, um, and I don't know how you haven't heard of it yet, but go and, uh, go and visit Neebs Gaming, guys. Um, apparently, they went all their way to give me a nice little shout-out this morning. Um, I can't wait to check it out myself. It'll have to be after stream. Um, but go check it out. Go check them out. Funny group of guys. Excellent Let's Plays. Um, they put a lot of effort into their cinematics, and... Um, like, I, I think out of any multiplayer group of people I've ever seen, they have the best chemistry, um, I would have to say. Like, they're not just always constantly yelling at each other, or, like, they just... There's a really good balance of players there. I think that's what that is. Hey, what's up, uh, Blobo? Welcome, man. Welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, it's been a pretty quiet day here today. I think a lot of people are incredibly busy with the, uh, the Christmas season. But that is okay, because I, I like the quieter streams, to be honest, because I can actually talk to you guys during these ones. We can go out, we can gather supplies, and we can chat it up. Not a bad deal, right? And I like live gaming more. Um, like, you mean like live stream gaming? Yeah, I have a mix um, of both on my channel. I'm trying to um, balance out a little bit. Like, I want to make more Let's Plays. Um, but like I have a standard let's play right like it's you know all first person and stuff um, I have been saving up to try to get a second system to bring like a better one um, It's gonna take a while, but uh, for now what I'm kind of doing is just like a let's play live streaming um, Like I'm not just a content creator on YouTube guys We also have a very 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 large community um, very tight community of people that like to play multiple different games on multiple platforms Tim welcome to the channel uh, so we have like a lot of cross-platform, uh, cross-games, right? Like I got a whole community in behind this. Um, and that's really why I'm here. Um, it's your boy. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for the follows, man. Or thanks for the sub. Um, I watch them now on my PS4 and each you on my phone. Awesome. I assume you're typing to me on your phone as well. <laughs> um, a little auto-predict on that one. David Frost, dude, thank you for the sub, man. Welcome to the channel. I have a feeling I'm going to be saying that all day today. <laughs> uh, Walker Girl says, I do. I'm from Neebs Gaming. You know what? Neebs is hard to spell on a cell phone. It never wants to spell Neebs. It always wants to spell like Needs or Knees or something else. Um, even when I trained mine uh, for Neebs, it um, it did not want to say it at all. At all, at all. Yes, yeah, so we're going to scrap those up because I definitely don't need any clothes, but we can always use the cloth. Um, there's a lot of building blocks I've added to Settler's Mods, so the cloth is very valuable for those building blocks. What's up from Buffalo? Been watching your videos for a while um, now. Great content. Oh, hey, what's up, Nick? Welcome uh, to the stream, dude. Glad you, uh, glad you can catch me live. Great time to uh, catch up with you guys. Comments just don't do anything anymore. I, I don't see the notifications for them. It's hard to have a conversation. Uh, so live streaming is definitely the best place to do that. Um, a yellow a koala and wild spoon. Welcome to the channel, guys. Thank you for the follows. Okay. 
I had to actually flip out of my screen to catch up on those. <laughs> They've been coming in like crazy here today. All right, so what we're doing right now, if you're just joining, uh, we're going out and doing some gathering. Um, Carpy, welcome to the channel. Now, what I like to do for a long, long time in my playthroughs is avoid digging underground. I used to do a lot of underground tunneling, uh, but I find going running around, grabbing the boulders like this, getting resources on the surface, killing zombies, uh, just to be a lot more fun than digging a good old tunnel or like hollow space on the ground, right? Because um, while well, first of all, you get all, oops, I'm pressing I for inventory. Um, you get all of the resources, every single one, so you don't need to go and dig in different biomes. Um, you get to see and find new things, and that's always good too. A little bit of exploring never hurt anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go for these boulders here. Uh, why did they have to make the dying rabbits sound like screamers? Do they freak you out, man? <laughs> Maybe I should make this make the screamers sound like dying rabbits. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually playing my own mod that I designed. Uh, this is an open and public mod. It's actually played by uh, quite a few people. Um, Caleb, welcome to the channel, dude. Thank you for the subs. Believe it or not, if you guys are here from Neebs Gaming, um, this is actually one of the slowest time us, um, like, survival seven days to die creators. Because, like, the main bulk of my channel was seven days to die. Um, but this has been the slowest time we've ever seen for seven days to die. So seeing bigger content creators pick it up is actually a really, really good sign. Because, like, people just aren't watching. Um, so it's bringing in people who are new to the game and not quite tired of it yet. Because, like, um, a lot of the players I played with since, like, back Alpha 12 and stuff, they've um, they've left the game this Alpha, unfortunately. They didn't like it very much. I, I get it, though. It hasn't been a great Alpha, but, hey, we're here. I still love playing the game. Um, just not as much lately. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm trying to do other stuff. Like, I want to do Wylands. Wylands is fun. Um, I'm really enjoying that game. I can do some cinematic stuff on that without having my second system. So that's cool. Um, Rob, welcome to the channel, dude. Thank you for the sub, man. I hope you're enjoying the content. And, uh, I hate saying this, guys. I really do. But if you haven't hit that like button, please do me a favor, guys, and smash it. Um, it does help promote streams up the channel. Oh, my God! Hello! Hank! No, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Holy shit! There's a bunch of them on us now. Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of this wandering horde here. So what these guys are, these humans... Um, they're Enders. Um, I don't know if you guys have watched um, a lot of Z Nation, the television show, but uh, there's Enders in it. There's actually a lot of um, a, a lot of little Easter eggs in here from from that mod. Like there's um, the Murphy. There's Enders. Um, when you kill these zombies, they turn into Mercy. If you look on the ground, um, the little tombstones, and they say Mercy. Um, but what the Enders are is they're they're really really stupid humans. And even the zombies cannot tell they're human because they are that stupid. Um, so what they do is they come running ahead of the wandering hordes. Uh, they really don't give you much. It's just to add a little bit of character to the game, right? Like um, for your first time experiencing... Oh, I got a chocolate bar. For your first time experiencing that, you see a bunch of humans run by you and then a whole bunch of zombies um, running in behind. It's quite funny. And if you can manage to like let the wandering horde go by and then find the spot that they all ended up standing in, uh, you'll go and you'll see all the enders are fighting either each other or the zombies. It's actually kind of funny to watch. Um, this mod is, is not a realistic mod at all. It's it's more of like a for fun thing. Oh, where did all those zombies? Ah, here they are. Here's the gravestones. Let's get them up. Ooh, getting a heavy, heavy inventory going on here. Is that a level 17 hunting knife? Yeah, I'm gonna just scrap that then. Don't need none of that. Okay, I think we got what we're gonna get. Oh, no, missed a few up here. Um, that's awesome. I love Z Nation. Yeah, actually, if you look at my character, um, I'm actually wearing, uh, the Murphy, uh, my Murphy skin. Here we go. Let's throw that out. See, there you go. There's the Murphy. Oh, he still has pants on, but if he took his pants off, he's actually wearing a business suit. Um, so it's season two Murphy, um, but there is a skin, and if you are using the mod, you can actually use the skin if you go and select it. Um, you can actually use all of my custom zombie skins. Okay, let's put this gas mask on here. Jesus, okay. We'll do a shift click right into our inventory there. Tanner, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the uh, the sub, man. Okay. So there is a lot going on right now, guys. Um, oh, Jesus. And the Kelly, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the sub. So many subs today. Those those Neves Gaming guys. Incredible. 
incredible. I'm gonna have to thank him again after. I can't wait to watch that video though. Like 100%. Hey, what's up, Benjamin? Well, welcome to the channel, dude. Yes, uh, for everybody that's here from Neebs, welcome, guys. It's good having you here. Blind Justice, what's up, man? Welcome to the channel. Sorry, guys, if I do miss your sub. Um, they're, like, stacking like crazy now, so... Um, it's gonna be a wild, for, I think, for the next little while. Oh, you know what? Oh, the body dropped through the world. Damn it. I could have went, um, I could have just scrapped that one thing. Oh, well, it is what it is. Where's my mini bike now? All over the place here. Um, I hope you have enough room for all them subs. <laughs> Lots of new people to the channel. Gun Doctor, welcome to the channel, man. All right. Um, so normally, guys, I don't have um, as much hair as you see in front of you right now. Um, what I'm doing is I was planning on Alpha Alpha 17 for 7 Days to Die when that comes out. Uh, do a long charity stream. Because last charity stream I did, we raised over $4,000 for... Um, a local group that feeds the homeless here so this year we're going for six and we're going to end up um ellen welcome to the channel um and we're going to do it i think this time for the actual local soup kitchen because before i never told people where i lived and stuff and um i made us a deal like if we had reached three thousand dollars i think it was um i would give you guys like my first name and the city i live in and a little bit more about me personally right and we did that i put out the video and stuff it was a great success Ended up making like a thousand dollars more than originally planned out. So for this year, I thought I would up the ante. And uh, for our long stream, James, thank you for subbing. Uh, this year for the charity stream, because what I usually do is that I get up to 24, right? Um, I'm old, guys. I try. I've done lots of 24s, but sometimes shit just happens. Unreliable internet, that kind of stuff, right? Um, so I'm gonna try for like an up to 24 hour stream and we're gonna aim for six grand this time, all right? So um, I up the ante. I said if we get to five grand this time, um, I don't know if you guys know who Will Forte is, but he has a show called Last Man on Earth. Um, stealth, welcome. If you, uh, season two, what he did was he had like his beard, his, his um, like everything grown out like crazy, right? And then in season two, he literally shaved half of it all off, right? Like his eyebrow, his hair, his beard, and he rocked that for a while. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, you know, aside from the eyebrow once we get to 5k. And I'll rock that for a month myself. I'll rock half a beard and half like this mess of whatever you call up here um, for a whole month. But I said if we get from five grand, if we get to six grand... Um, the eyebrow will go too, just because the eyebrow is um, a huge commitment. Because when that month rolls by, I'm going to have to pull the other eyebrows so they both grow at the same time. You know what I mean? That's a lot of dedication, but I think five grand's worth it. So if we get to six grand, uh, we'll do the eyebrow, and then I'll match as well too. I'll put in a $1,000 of my own money, so we'll actually end up with $7,000. I think we can do it. We pulled together as a community last time, and uh, we weren't nearly as big um, as we are this time. So that's awesome. Yeah, I, I don't know though. I might um, we might plan something else because like the Alpha 17 is gonna take so freaking long. Uh, we'll we'll see when I do it, but definitely have to let this grow up first. This is um, now about three weeks of growth, so it's coming in pretty well. Hey, what's up, Benjamin? Uh, Neebs sent you. Yes, well, welcome to the channel, guys. I really do hope you enjoy my content. Um, if you're a console fan, guys, I, I do console content as well. Uh, Bodhi, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. Um, I'm uh, our community, uh, my channel, everything about us is cross platform and stuff. Um, Ofer, welcome to the channel. Um, it's cross platform. We really don't care what you play games on. All we care about is that you play games, right? Um, so that's kind of what our community is about. So if you guys are uh, like want to play Seven Days to Die or you do and you're a console fan, tons of console content. Hundreds and hundreds of Let's Play videos. Um, PC fans, I have a lot of that as well. Holy crap, did I ever run from my bike here. All right. I'm going to get on my bike, and uh, we're going to try to catch up with a, a few of these shout-outs here. I'm, I, oh, Jesus, I can't keep up with this now. Um, NFRI, Steen, Ofer, um, Vodi, Stealth, James, Allen. Holy crap. Thank you for the follows, guys. Like, I'm literally looking at it, and it's like one minute, two minute, three or like just a whole bunch going all the way down. So hard to catch up with. Fantastic. Neebs with her support. I just... I have no words. It's amazing. 
It's awesome. Great group of or great group of guys like that. I just watched Needs a podcast and they were watching your streams and I really like your videos. Well, thank you, Steen. Thank you. Thanks for the kind words, man. Yeah, I haven't watched a video yet, guys. Um, I, it's you know what I mean. It's like staring at like a Christmas gift right now. Um, but I'm gonna stream through it. We're gonna keep streaming. Um, today's probably a longer stream as well. I really want to get some work done on this playthrough. Um, stay saucy. Stay saucing. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. That's actually a really, really bad spot for that. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually... Oops. If I press the right button. Damn it. Not escape. Stop pressing escape. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. I can't even. Here we go. Quest. Here we go. Let's um, not make that active. So there, there. Now it's not showing up over the writing anymore. Nice. Oh, look at a winter biome. Oh, there's coal sitting right here. Nero. Um, I think I already said a shout out for you, but the bot's having a hard time catching up here. But welcome to the channel, man. Did you even know what they talked about? No, I have no clue yet. I have not seen the video. I have no idea what they said. Um, please don't ruin it for me either, guys. Um, I haven't, like I said, I haven't seen it yet. So, um, awesome group of guys, though. Like, to go all their way, just to give, like, a small content creator um, a shout out. Just, because, like... I've been telling my, my community, right? You gotta, you guys gotta go and check these guys out. And then apparently they got word of it and came to my stream and said, "Hey, thanks for shouting us out." And then they guess they said they're gonna return the favor, which is mind-boggling, which is awesome. YouTube needs more. Oh shit! YouTube, <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> YouTube needs more content creators like them. Definitely. Everyone just seems to be in, in it for themselves now at this point, and you never see cooperation anymore. So um, that's actually a very, very refreshing thing to see. Uh, I might just get rid of, rid of this water here. Did I empty out my mini bike when we were at home? Damn it, I didn't either. We're gonna get so full on supplies. <laughs> Let's check it out. Did I empty my mini bike out? No, of course I did not empty my mini bike out. Shame. Uh, I'm going to put the home record coins away because I probably won't be stacking any of those up. Um, hey, Skippy, is there a PS4 stream today? Um, no, unfortunately, there will not be a PS4 stream today, dude. Um, I will be doing PS4 multiplayer on Saturday. Um, Friday, I'll probably just do some streaming of other games like Wylands and whatnot. Um, I really want to check out The Long Dark as well. Um, I think that would be a fun game to play. Um, I do like challenging survival games. They just have to be realistic, right? Um, if you want to call it a challenging survival game, you shouldn't be able to carry this much stuff on your holy. What the? I heard you. Oh, well, hey there, little lady. Give me that buff. Thank you very much. Damn it. No, don't get mad. There we go. She should give me oh some zombie master coins. Thank you very much. Um, now those zombies, there's actually some some, some half breed zombies that aren't quite zombies. They're they're turning. Um, so that was our little lady, and what she does is she gives you a nice little buff that gives you a whole bunch of stamina. Uh, the movement speed's a joke, um, but it gives you stamina every one second, so it helps you build your stamina while you're out in a boat. Uh, so let's get back on here, and it looks like we're headed right into a desert, which is really good. I should get myself some yucca while we're here. Yucca makes a great cooling drink. Great cooling drink. Yeah, you should play unturned. Uh, I won't do unturned, man. I won't do unturned. Um, if the game's got to be cartoony, it's got to be artistic. And in my opinion, unturned is just... Nah, it's not my style, man. Not my style. See, Unturned to me feels like a kid's game. Whereas a game like Wyland, um, I would love to see a kid try to hack play in that game. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's not exactly, it doesn't like hold your hand or anything or give you anything, which I love. I love survival games like that. They're like, here's an island, have fun. That to me feels like real survival. I enjoy that. Um, but Unturned, I, I checked it out. I, I've downloaded it. I, I've tried playing it. I just, I couldn't. Not my thing. Not saying it's a bad game, it's just not my thing. Fallout 4 survival mode might be good. Um, I kind of checked out Fallout 4. Like, I love Fallout 4. Whoa! 
fucking rail on the cactus. Um, I, I love Fallout 4, but I, I don't know about their survival mode, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure about it yet. I'll, I'll check it out again, though. Um, what I really would love to get is VR and play myself some kick-ass Fallout VR. I think that would be badass. Um, do you know when I walk, it feels slippery? On Xbox? I don't get it. I, I don't I don't get it. <laughs> um, it feels slippery. Like your Xbox controller? Well, maybe you should separate hobbies there, dude. Or at least wash your hands in between. I, I don't know what you're doing wrong there, but... Uh, yeah, I'm on single player right now. This is one of my single player playthroughs. Um, I do do some multiplayer stuff. Um, I do have two 30 slot uh, sponsored servers by Blue Fang uh, that both run Settlers Mod. Both Settlers Mod and the servers are actually sponsored by um, Blue Fang. Uh, now, what the hell? Oh, here it is. It's over here. We need to go check this out. These are always decent POIs to go check out. What the hell? What happened to this POI? I've never been over this way, and it looks like it's been um, trashed a bit. Okay. I don't think I've ever come across one that actually looks like this before. This is uh, this is kind of new to me, to be honest. There we go. We'll let this little lady out, just so we can take her out of her misery. There we go. Oh, she almost got buried all the way again. Okay, let's go see if we can find anything cool. Sometimes you can find a Taz's axe in one of these. Um, especially early game, those things are amazing. Yeah, there's no chest down there. Damn it. Uh, but there is three boxes, which is um, damn cool. Just smack this guy before he even has his chance to wake up. All right, let's smack these suckers open. See if we can't find anything good. Alrighty then. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I definitely did. It's creepy as fuck. When I walk on seven days to die, it feels like my guy is sliding. Yeah, and let's say about that one, man. I need a barrier. Oh, my coffee. Mm. I only make my coffee with the finest of water. And that is Perrier. Imagine making your coffee with Perrier. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa, what? Where were you? Holy fuck, buddy. Oh, Jesus, two of them. Uh, okay, let's take care of them. They almost got the drop on me, too. Holy shit. There you go. These guys, like, I swear their only point is to eat you. All right, let's get this uh, this second sucker open here and um, actually turn on my light. Uh, John Roy Aboy, welcome to the channel, dude. Thank you for the sub. Carbonated warm coffee. <laughs> um, you know what? Try that. I would love to see what happens to carbonated drinks when you um, when you heat them up in a coffee maker. I bet the back of your coffee maker would just be like a bunch of bubbles. Actually, I really want to do that now. I should go and buy myself a crappy ass coffee maker and experiment. Just see what happens when that. Yeah, I'll end up burning my house down, but it'll make a great YouTube video. Clemen, welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for the sub, man. Uh, well, thank you, John Roy. I do hope you enjoy my content. It is not nearly as awesome as Neebs Gaming is, but I try. Um, here, dude, what you'll find uh, for those who are coming from Neebs Gaming is a gaming community. Um, I'm not just a YouTube channel. Um, we are also a huge community. Uh, we use Discord as the heart of our community. Uh, we play a lot of different types of games across the, um, every like every console. Um, Kyle, welcome to the channel. Um, across every console, across PC, it doesn't really matter. Um, we really discourage elitism um, as a community. We don't care if you have a PC or a console, as long as you're a gamer, uh, you're a friend, in our opinion. Um, we had like our community is pretty pretty different. We're we're small, but we're tight, tight, tight and small. Never ever better than that, guys. When you want your community, when you want to go into a community, you want it tight and small. You know what I mean? If you have a big loose community, you'll just get lost in there. You won't find your way back. And speaking of finding my way back, where's my house? Oh, okay, we're only back this way. That's not bad. We can continue going in this direction. Do a little bit of a wheelie first before we go. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the new bike, bike physics that are coming out in Alpha 17 in 2026. Okay. 
Uh, this sucks. I broke my elbow. Did you break your elbow, buddy? Sorry to hear that, man. Um, can you can you at least game? Like, do, is your arm up in a sling or? Oh, you know what? As a, as a content creator, I would not know what to do if I broke a piece of my arm or something. A piece of my arm. You know, anything to do with holding a controller. Broken leg? Sure. Why not? You know what I mean? I'm already sitting here anyways. Um, but an arm would suck. There we go. Two of you coming after me. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay, here we go. I meant to scrap those. My bad. I always search these zombie bodies. They sometimes have really good shit on them. Oh, let's go get this uh, this one over here, too. I should also be collecting Yaka, but whatever. This desert actually is not far away from us. Need to start throwing out some winks with lines like those? What do you mean? What lines? Kind of excited about Alpha 17? Yeah, well, you're going to have, like, another good six months wait. Um... The fun pimps um, said that Alpha 17 isn't coming out for like well into 2018. Well into 2018. Um, so that's uh, in fun pimps language. Um, always double what they say because they, they never get it out in time. Um, so guys, like from what I'm seeing now, I don't think we're going to hope for an update until like summer is almost over. You know what I mean? I don't know what's taking them so long, but um, that's why I've kind of said, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't do one game on my channel. Maybe we should bring some more games to the channel. Um, so guys, like um, like I said, my channel is a little different. We're a community. Um, I make videos and streams and stuff mostly because our community enjoys watching them and playing them. Um, so I know there might be some content that I put out that you don't like, and that's cool. Um, all I simply ask is that you just don't click on it, right? Because if you click on it, you're only ruining your own algorithm. It's going to start suggesting other stuff, um, like similar to that video, right? No, you don't want that. You don't want that. Um, so you just don't, simply don't click on it, guys. Um, people try to troll my channel with dislikes sometimes when I, they, when I put out content they don't want to see. And honestly, I could care less. Um, those dislikes only help the channel, actually. <laughs> so um, I don't use that as a gauge. Um, what I use as a gauge for my content is uh, my actual community. So, um, I, rec I recommend, if you guys, like I said, if you guys want to become part of the community, come be part of the community. It's awesome. Lots of gamers in there if you're looking for friends to play certain games with, that type of thing. Um, there's different, um, like, channels and stuff, like for console and seven days and different games. Um, if you have any suggestions, let me know. I'll, I'll put in some more channels if there's, some more, uh, if there's enough interest. Uh, but if you do exclamation mark um, Discord, it should give you an invite to it right in the chat. Nick, welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the sub. Hope you enjoy the content. Ah, uh, damn it! <laughs> oh, yucca fruit. Um, apparently in Alpha 17, they're actually making it so that you can pass through the yucca fruit and stuff. Uh, because like driving your mini bike through the desert is such a pain in the ass. You get hung up on everything. Am I overheating now? Yeah, I got a heat stroke going on. Um, so what I should do is grab some yucca here so this is a quick tri uh, like trick there we go okay looking for that um looking for that yucca so guys yucca is one of the easiest things to make in the game it cools you down really well and uh you don't need a water source for it uh, wrong button so once you got yucca going on you go to your yucca fruit go to recipes and you'll see yucca juice all you need is an empty glass jar and, and you can make it it's it's not very hard at all uh, I'm gonna get rid of some of that cloth here, so I need to drink that right away. We're in uh, we're in heat stroke zone here. That's never a good thing. I'll probably actually make a couple while we're out here. There we go. And can I make another one? Yep. We only need four. Awesome. So I'm gonna drink that, and then you'll see up in the corner here, um, cool drink for three minutes. It'll um, cool me down. My heat stroke will come down, or should come down. Uh, if it's not coming down. What I can do is, um, oh yeah, it's still going up. Holy crap, okay, so it's gonna be uh, complicated for me. Another good thing to make too, that's really easy to make even early game. AK, what's up, man? Thanks for the follow. Um, is your, your plant fiber hat? Here we go, let's make that up. And that'll help cool us down. Philip, welcome to the channel, dude. I hope you enjoy the content. Okay, so let's go. Where did they, where'd they go? I've not been picking them up. Okay, whatever. I have a few of these kicking around at home. 
Here we go. <laughs> I'm having a moment, guys. Okay, so we're gonna go and open that up. Plant fibers. We're gonna equip the plant fibers. We're gonna make a plant fiber hat. Um, that'll actually cool you down really, really quick. Damn it. Guys, I'm sorry I've been playing like other games lately and um, I have my buttons all mixed up. So we're, we're gonna wear that. There we go. And bam. Cool, so that should, uh, yeah, there we go. There we go, it's cooling us down pretty quickly now. Uh, we're down to 109. So let's go ahead and start pounding some more stone here. We've still got some daytime, so may as well. Welcome to the channel, dude. Thank you for the follow. Or thank you for the sub. What's up, man? Just passing by to leave that powerful like. Hey, Danny, what's up, dude? Yeah, good to see you again. Thank you for stopping in. It's good having you here, man. All these stones, look at them all. All the resources, it's all mine. Well, it is all mine, basically. There is no other players on this one. I could turn this into multiplayer, but um, sometimes it's a little easier to stream seven days of dive when you're not doing multiplayer. Oh, level 73. Nice, nice. We've killed 1,230 zombies so far in this playthrough. We're getting there. Um, I was aiming for 30,000. Um, maybe with like how long Alpha 17 is going to take to come out, I actually might get there. I'm um, just casually playing instead of playing this every day. That might be a thing. Lazy Titan, what is up? Welcome to the channel. Oh, shoot. Is it Horde Day? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, guys. I am not prepped whatsoever. I wasn't even paying attention here. Uh, the sun doesn't go down. You, If the sun doesn't go down, you dead? What is that supposed to mean? Oh my god. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I have not been paying attention. Like, literally. I didn't even look at the day when I started this game. Or, I started today. Alright, well, let's get our asses home. This might be good. This might be bad. Who knows? Um, as long as I can get on top of that building, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> but I really gotta get my ass home. Uh, this might be... This might turn out to be one hell of a horde night. Guys, if, um, if you're new to my channel, stick around. You're gonna want to see this horde night, if I can get my shit together. Um, you're gonna want to see this horde night. Um, because I made Horde Knights a badass in Settlers mod. Like, real badass. There's whole different types of zombies and stuff that attack your base. Um, a good amount of zombies as well. Oh my god, look at that sky turn red. Good thing I was on my Burke, right? Imagine having to run home at this point. That would really suck. We don't have long either. I want Bomba. Yes, Bomba. Oh, she's my favorite now. Um, I was watching a few streamers stream, um, some Settlers mod. The first time they experienced Bomba, oh my god, like blew a hole right in their wall. And they're like, what the fuck? And like zombies just start pouring in. It's so funny to watch. So funny to watch. Be prepared, guys. Horde Knights are badass on Settlers Mod. Are you going to make it in time? I hope so. I really hope so. We're not too far away, so I should be able to. I hope. If not, well, it's going to be one hell of a... Um, I have 10% gas, too. Do I even have enough, enough gas to get home? I may have uh, button hooked myself again here, guys. Not paying attention to the days. All right. Oh, not, not, not. Stuck on a little cactus. See? See? Stupid cactuses. I think a, I think a mini bike should tear through a cactus. I think, I think that's what it should do. I wonder if I can make the mini bike do damage to plant fiber or plant stuff. Because that would be better, right? Like, hit it and go through it instead of, like, coming to a dead stop over, like, a small little cactus. I can understand it, like, fucking with a mini bike, but not that much. Oh, and it looks like they're bringing back um, vehicle damage. Um, Alpha 17 as well. That's going to be fun to see. Um, welcome to the channel, dude. I am so sorry. I had missed your name, um, but I cannot look at it right now because I am in a panic to get my ass back home because it's almost hard night. Oh, we got two hours here to prep. Yeah, we're fine. We're good. Let's get going. Um, shit is going to be real. Oh, you hit 1 million? Cool. Um, Zach, congratulations, man. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. Okay, so I'm going to dump off some stuff real quick like here. And then we're going to look and see what we have for ammos and whatnot. And then uh, we shall get our asses going. Oh, damn it. Okay. Um, now, I do live by uh, close by to some train tracks, guys. So you may hear a train every now and then. I can take them out of my recordings easy by stopping recording. Um, but, oh shit, like we're down, down to four water too. Okay, I'm gonna dump quickly here. Um, we really need to get our show together. Wow, look at all the resources I have. We're getting there. 
Yeah, I definitely, I don't think I need to do any gathering here for another little while. Okay, I'm going to get rid of those arches. There we go. We'll put our parts and stuff away. Um, hopefully I don't get too distracted and entirely miss Horde Knight. That would absolutely suck. You know what? That's the one thing I've never done is actually gotten stuck somewhere on Horde Knight. Um, I always, like, usually last second end up being like, holy crap, it's Horde Knight. You know what I mean? And getting prepared. So um, this was close, so this was definitely a close one. Okay, we're going to put the Yaga Juice away, the Jar of Honey. Um, and I just need to drink some water to get our health back up. Okay, I, so, like, I have no ranged weapons. I have a bow with 117 arrows. I have no prep for this whatsoever. Whatsoever. Okay, I guess I'll keep the repair stuff on me. One, one line up at the top is good enough. Uh, actually, gas I'm going to put in with the tools here. Okay, so let's see. We have uh, 292 rounds, 58 of these rounds, and we have... We have ourselves a decent gun. So I'm going to take that. Oh, we do have a sniper. We do have sniper rifles. Oh, dang. Okay. Uh, not the SMG because I don't have that many 9mm. So we're going to use a handgun. Uh, now, the trick of the Settlers mod is to try to hit them in the head. Uh, that's how to do it. Oh, Molotov cocktails. We can't forget about those bastards. Those are great defense. I love those suckers. Uh, okay. So we don't have much shotgun shells. So we're not going to use a shotgun. And what else do we have here? Hunting rifles. So it looks like I'll be using a hunting rifle and um, all my other stuff. My compound bow. My machete I'm going to put away. Um, I'm only using that for meat right now. And look at that. It's 2047 and uh, we're still actually okay to go. That's awesome. Can you imagine a cross between Bomba and a Leprechaun? Shoot rockets and blow stuff up? Oh, just wait until I start making bosses, dude. Wait until I start making bosses. You got stuck in a tunnel once, um, PS4. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did get stuck out there, but I made it, right? I made it. I didn't get, like, stuck stuck, dude. I still made it back to the horror base. Um, all the zombies just got stuck on the stupid fence because zombies can't deal with fences. Or, um, I'm sorry, uh, what do you call it? Railings. There we go. Railings. Holy crap, guys. My beard mustache is getting some itchy. itchy. I'm trying to make it not look like I'm picking my nose. That's actually secretly what I'm doing. But no, seriously, like it's starting to curl up and stuff and like tickle the inside of my nose. I don't like it. All right, see you later, um, all starts. Too bad you're going to be uh, missing the Horde night. It's literally in a, a few uh, seconds here. We're not too far off. Okay, so we got our Molotovs. By the way, guys, in Settler's Mod, do not drink your Molotovs. I did add a drink function to it, so do not use the wrong button. Um, now I'm actually a little bit nervous on which button is drink. Uh-oh. 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 You can kill yourself with a Molotov, too, so. See, that's use. Uh-oh. Guys, which button is used for Molotov? I don't want to drink my own Molotov and troll me now. Troll myself. <laughs> uh, how do you know, Jolene? Did she cut some good zombie balls? Um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up drinking it. Oh, Elmer, you just went and checked out Neebs Gaming. Yeah, they are pretty good, man. I love Neebs Gaming. It's so much fun to watch. Um, quality content. I think that's what it is too, right? They they have um, a really good rapport with each other. Mmm, that's gorgeous. And uh, they're funny, and they make really good quality content. So, um, yeah, definitely check them out. Uh, B. Turcott says, I'm here from Neebs Gaming. Yeah, we have a lot of cross people today, which is awesome. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Oh, there's that thunder. We're waiting for the, uh, the Horde Knight to come down here. I'm almost finished my coffee, too. Hmm. Put water in the toolbar. Um, Jer. That's actually a good idea. Because I don't need the fire axe right now. Uh, here we go. That, that'll put out the fire just in case I do drink it. Thank you, Jer. You got my back. <laughs> because I know on Horde Night I'm going to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to go through. Oh, damn it, I drank it. <laughs> why, why? Oh, you know, it's going to end up happening. Hey, Noah, just in time for the Horde. Yeah, dude, we're just waiting out the Horde. I almost got stuck out um, gathering for Horde Night. I, I, like, seen Thunder. I'm, like, looked at the day. I'm like, holy shit, it's Horde Night. Should probably get back home. Yeah, <laughs> or Jerry, you got audited. That's funny, man. Uh, 
Benjamin King, welcome, dude. Hope you enjoy the content, man. I'm gonna get some coffee before you get attacked. Wish I could get everyone else's while I'm at it. I am actually gonna go after Horde Night and refill my coffee cup. Oh, here we go, guys. Horde Night's on. I'm gonna turn up my volume here so I can actually hear stuff. And which direction are we coming from today? Whoa, do we have dogs right off the bat? I hear them. I do not see where they're coming from, though. Oh, look, we already have a dog down here. Oh, two dogs right off the bat on Hard Night. Okay, where are you guys coming from? All Star, welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for the follow. Oh, here they come. Okay, so they're all coming from this direction over here. Whoa, holy shit. Look at those arrows go. Where are you? Um, so I've added um, a bunch of different challenges for different uh, stuff. Some zombies can climb as well, too. Like, you see that guy? He's climbing. Um, you do not want to get in his way. So this guy right here, the one that's on fire, is um, an archer. He's a sniper. He's actually pretty dangerous. Um, now, guys, I'm sorry if I don't catch your follows during Horde Night, but it gets um, pretty intense here on Horde Night. Mexi, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the sub. All right, what do we got going on down here? We got dogs running around. We need to get um, a few corpses or something going on here. There we go. Attack that pole, you stupid dog. Holy dogs tonight. Tonight is a dog horde night, apparently. Thank God I'm actually up here. Dogs are, pre dogs are pretty badass. <laughs> uh, we may see a Murphy tonight. Getting a Murphy would be awesome. Hey. Hey, come here. Give me your head. Come here. Oh, stop. Give me... Head. There we go. Got his head. Man, it's like high school all over again. I just can't get that head. There we go. All right. I sent the dogs. Oh, did you join? Thank you very much. Okay, so we have some cops in the play now. Um, we've only seen one special zombie so far. There we go. He wasn't too bad. A few shots to the head and he's down. Stupid freaking dog. These are the ones that we really want to get rid of. The dogs seem like the only ones that can actually do a, a measurable amount of block damage now with how broken the AI is. Hey guys, what's up? So, as you can see, even some of the cops themselves can climb. So be careful. Um, these ones here, they, they don't spit at you though. That's the one thing. They just, um, they pack a wall up if they actually get to you, right? Uh-oh, what's going on here? Down 50% water? That's not so bad. Okay, um, I might actually get my arrow out here. It's a little cheaper, and I can start picking them off. Thomas, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the sub, man. Oh, crap. I just can't see. Got to gotta get them right at the tip here. Got to get them right at the tip. There we go. Nice. Nice. Looks like we actually might rack up some kills here tonight, guys. So my kills is at 1246 right now. Um, I've already killed a few, but I don't know exactly um, how many we had when we first started. <laughs> but we should get a few decent kills tonight. Come on, cop. Get out of the way. My god. Okay, I'm going to shoot this guy with the gun here. It's getting done. Screw you. Where is the other stupid cop? Oh, oh I got all the cops. Okay, no, we're good. Start picking these guys off now. Another dog! Holy crap, I got one of the dog horde knights. Uh, now I went in with my mod and made like all the different waves different, right? So you don't get the same horde knights all the time. Like some nights will be a dog horde knight. Some nights will be a leprechaun horde knight. And believe me guys, leprechauns, pretty badass. Damn it, we're out of handgun ammo already. Whatever. Hey, what's up, Thomas? How you doing, man? I know I have a whole bunch of new people here today. Um, so you're witnessing a horde night on my mod. B.A. Dennis, welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for the sub, man. Damn it. Well, at least we have 288 of these. A little slow with the, um, the hunting rifle, but... Should I use a sniper rifle instead? Shoot a little faster and that's a little more accurate, I think. Yeah, he didn't like that. There we go. Yeah, let's use a sniper rifle. 360 no scope. 
Linus, welcome to the channel, dude. Thank you for the follow. All right, so we actually have not gotten too many special zombies tonight. So that's a little bit of a relief. Look at them. Wow, they've already taken out the pole here. Assholes. Come here. Like I said, guys, dogs are the actual challenge when it came, comes to breaking blocks. Like, look at that. They chewed right through it. And he's still chewing on one that's not there. There we go. Stupid freaking dog. Yeah, this is my mod, Thomas. Okay. Um, so, oh, oh, shoot. Look at this. Look at this. Now, luckily, the bars block us, but that's a ranged zombie right there. Um, what he does is he shoots flaming arrows at you. Oh, crap. I think I just heard something ready to explode. Whew, that was close. All right. Skippy needs shotting practice. And Elmer, you need, um, you need spelling practice. <laughs> Here goes one. Are the other one underneath me now? They are. Here we go. Nice. They're just putting all their heads there nice and lined up in a row for us. We need to bring this, actually, when I go out farming. Because if you find another uh, treasure zombie, I can actually um, end up taking them out with this thing. Damn it! Bye, Billy. I'll see you later. It's good having you here. <laughs> These fucking guys, I swear. All right. So, we might or might not get a Bomba tonight, guys. I'm actually kind of hoping we do, so all our new people can see uh, some of the mini-bosses and stuff. Uh, Sean, welcome to the channel, dude. Thank you for the follow, man. Right in the friggin' sh right in the shoulder. Oh, here we go. He's down. Hey, Chimney. What's up? Welcome to the channel. Came from Neebs? That's awesome. Um, I have not seen the video yet. So I can't wait to actually stream here. We'll, we'll, oh, I'm going to go and check it out. All right, what do we got going on? Hello? Stupid business, man. Okay. Stop breaking my pole. I'm surprised that actually didn't collapse, to be honest. Must have been just enough support for it all. There we go. Another one goes down. We have more incoming. Oh, we have a whole bunch outside here. Let's get these little bastards. Oh, shit. Well, we have a leprechaun somewhere. Um, now, the leprechaun can't get to me through these iron bars. Um, but they do quite a bit of damage. And they're good to keep around. Like, I'm going to keep him around. See him right there? That's one of the special zombies. He's ranged. He shoots rockets at you. Um, now, what I like about that guy is I'm going to keep him there. Because um, the rockets do damage to everything. Zombies, blocks, you name it, right? Uh, so if I'm lucky, he'll fire and hit his zombie buddies. Come here. Shoot at him. Why, why are you, like, stuck in that one spot? Is it because of this block? Asshole. Yeah. I want to shoot your friends. Come on. There you go. Stumble. Come on, buddy. Shoot your friends up. Now he's actually not going to shoot at me. Okay. Um, but look how fast he's breaking that block. Leprechauns, guys. They do some real damage. Holy massive heads over here. Okay, you know what? Just because he's stuck? Fuck him. There we go. Is he going to come at us now? I want him to shoot the other zombies with his rockets. Help me out here a little bit. Um, how do you pickle a sphincter? Um, you eat a lot of fast foods. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to sit in there. There, now it's dead, stupid leprechaun. Nice, another one bites the dust. Oh, what do we have? Oh shit, a bomba, guys! Okay, so with these things here, these are mini bosses. I'm, I can't kill her, so I'm going to just back up so you guys can you guys can watch. What happens if they can't get to you? They're going to light themselves on fire, and that fire is enough to kill them. 
Um, watch what happens. You have 20 seconds. Once she lights herself on fire, you have about 20 seconds. And then, boom. She'll blow up. Now, I have this all concrete, okay? But look at the amount of damage she did to concrete. That's only a level 1 bomba. As my game stage gets higher, they do more and more and more damage, right? Um, so a level 4 bomba will leave a hole in concrete. Um, once you get up to stage 4,000 plus. Oh, no, I'm sorry. 3,000 plus. 3,000 plus, you get a level 4 uh, bomba. And those suckers do some real damage. Um, now, fortunately, we built up real well. Um, but in my other stream videos, when this used to be just a house, they left quite a few holes in it. A bomba can blow up a wood house easily at level 1. Um, so if you think you're safe on top of a wood building on Horde Knight... Nope. Bomba will bring that sucker down if there's nothing there. Hey, what's up, Chimney? Oh, well, thank you, BA. Welcome, man. Um, what you're witnessing right now is uh, me playing my own mod, dude. I do a whole host of different things on my channel and uh, with my community. There we go. Aiming for the head, guys. You always want to aim for the head. Another one bites the dust. There we go. Bam. Bam. Bubba brings it down or Jolene will. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you guys can get yourself girlfriends, too. If we run across a girlfriend uh, close by, guys, um, I'll show you how to get yourselves a girlfriend in Settler's Mod. Uh, now, she's not a great girlfriend. She may leave you. And she may leave a mess behind at your house. But she's a girlfriend nonetheless. Hey, what's up, Brian? How you doing, buddy? Oh, well, thank you very much, man. This is like casually shooting zombies in the head here. Um, so this is my fourth Horde Knight now? Yeah, fourth Horde Knight. So not bad for a fourth Horde Knight. Not insane, but not bad. Um, as my game stage gets higher and the days go on, uh, the Horde Knights become very intense. Um, if you guys want to check out guys who do Settlers Mod and do it multiplayer, uh, Beardies Guys Gaming on Twitch. Um, they've been really slowing down on 7 Days content as well. Um, they as well have become a little bored with 7 Days, but they still do it. Um, Ray, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the sub. Hey, I'm a great girlfriend. <laughs> No, you're not. I brought you home twice, and all you did was leave a mess and disappear. Didn't even leave me a sandwich. What's up, zombie head? Don't need that. Holy crap, these guys are just wrecking the place here. Okay, come on. There goes another one. There we go. There goes another one. We still have some time. It's only 2.30. Um, on my hard nights, guys, there is no trickle time. You'll continue getting zombies up until um, whenever your morning is. So 4 a.m., 6 a.m., uh, depending on your settings, right? Holy fuck, I'm running through these bullets like mad, too. Nice, another one bites of dust. Yeah, look at that. Three in a row, bam, bam, bam. Hey, Elmer, what's up? Simon went in a group. You always need a sandwich? I know, right? Yeah, yeah, stupid dog. Okay, so I'm hearing tons of pounding. Um, there must be some outside here. And I'm thinking we got a few stuck outside. I think I got to replace those um, those railings eventually too with iron bars. But this Horde Knight should do it for a little while. Um, eventually, it's not going to be good enough. As our Horde Knights rack up, um, they'll get a lot worse. I literally had to fit a car in for some french fries. What? <laughs> hey, Elegant Chaos, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Um, quiet stream today. It's nice, so it's really nice. I'm actually able to talk to you guys. Um, today's just quiet, period. Like, the last couple of days? Holy shit. It's like people are, like, on holidays or something. What's up? Look at that. Destruction. You got friend zone? Man, I don't even, I don't even fucking play that game, dude. 
I don't play that game at all. I'm either a friend or I'm going for it. Either way. Don't, don't be don't be letting that happen to yourself. And um, I would never date a girl that says I have a bunch of guy friends, but they're all in the friend zone either, by the way. Anywho. Same goes for girls. Same way. Guy friends zone you? Fuck them. Not worth your time. Hey, Sharp, what's up? Welcome to the channel. I, uh, I hope you uh, stick around and enjoy, man. Great community we got over here of gamers. We play multiple games and things. Uh, we're just working through um, what actually turned out to be a pretty easy horde night tonight. Oh, sweet. We got another level. Nice. Nice. Another dog. Yeah, we got a dog horde night tonight. That's what happened. Oh, right in the top of the head. So if you guys are joining from Neves, um, and you're a fan of Seven Days to Die, I have both console and PC content on Seven Days to Die. Uh, so the best of both worlds, right? If you enjoy console content, I have it there for you. If you enjoy PC content, it's there for you. If you enjoy both, well, both are there for you. <laughs> Thank you, Puggo. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's really cool. That's really cool them to go and, uh, and do a shout out like that for me. They really didn't have to. I mean, like that, that's going all the way, right? Um, Jonathan, welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for the sub, man. Oh, shut up. As if that just happened. Oh, it's broken. <laughs> all right. Well, let's, uh, let's repair that sniper rifle. Gonna take a few seconds. What's up, nurse? Look at all the uh, look at all the loot, though. I'm actually gonna bring them over this way a bit, uh, just so I can spread out the loot a little better. Trissy, welcome to the channel. Sorry, guys, once again, if I missed your subs and follows and stuff and whatever, it's really hard to see right now. Um, you're always busy. Make time for Skippy. Hey, Jesse, what's up? What's up? Okay. Right in the shoulders. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. There we go. Nice. 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 Um, it's not morning yet, is it? Oh, it's morning. Okay. All right. It's morning time, guys. It's all over. Um, we only got um, three specials tonight, actually. Oh, four specials, I'm sorry. We only got... Holy shit, that was a feral. There we go. Let's make sure there's no ferals coming up on us, too. I think there's a ton hiding outside here. Oh, crap. What are you going to do about it? There we go. She's running. All right. What you guys doing out here? Oh, it's a spider. <laughs> I almost want to take these guys out of Horde Night, too. Ah, crap. No. It's all quiet now. <laughs> Oh, we got, um, we got some, oh, that was from the leprechaun, guys. This is actually a really rare item to get. It's kind of just a junk item. Um, but if you kill a leprechaun, uh, you might get some yucky charms from them. Um, it gives you 15 fullness. Um, it's, it's just like a, a sham sandwich, right? Um, what I do recommend is selling your yucky charms to, um, a trader. The trader likes the yucky charms. Good item to sell. All right, looting time here, guys. Let's go uh, search all these mercy zombies and uh, get them going. So I'm a big fan of Z Nation, the television show. And there's a lot of uh, Z Nation shoutouts in my mod, by the way. Did I put all my armor back on? Yeah, I did, we're good. You should add Santa zombies. I, I was planning on it, dude, but um, right now, seven days to die is like just incredibly slow man it's at, it's at its slowest time right now that's ever been like period people just aren't playing you know what i mean like there's still a lot of new people coming to the game but like as a whole a lot of us have seen like our, our viewership go way down on seven day stuff so um kind of slow right now so i'm not really concentrated on doing much modding because modding is very time consuming i'm actually just more of concentrating on keeping my channel floating right now um, I'll get back to modding once, like, Alpha 17 and stuff comes out.
<laughs> when you kill him instead of a tombstone, he drops some um, huge present. Yeah, I wanted to do stuff like that, but like I said, Settler's Mod only had like 3,000 plays in the last week. So it's just, you know what I mean? The numbers just aren't there to, to, to do it, right? I'd rather put my concentration towards streaming or, um, or something else in the meantime. Kind of keep our community together here and going. All right, stupid remains. I'm gonna have to empty the out. There we go. Ooh, a treasure map. These are always good, always good. Um, I almost scrapped the treasure map, um, but we're gonna hold on to that because we can get diamonds from those, and we need that. We need that big time. Lots of bones. Ooh, we got some oil there too. I can definitely scrap all these crappy clothes we don't need. Um, I should probably actually keep that cloth. You end up usually getting a lot of those items. Uh, so a lot of the zombies, um, they just basically give you a coin bonus too, like the climbing ones I added in. Um, just because um, a lot of people were saying, you know, it's like getting a little bit hard to maintain the inventory because I don't believe in a bigger inventory. Um, I kind of like it where it's at. Tristan, welcome. I give you the sub. Um, no, he should drop coal. <laughs> Yeah, I'll call him, um, what's like the evil version of Santa again? Um, like the one that's bad that comes for you if you're not a good kid, that type of deal. I forget what it's called, but that's the sh Santa I should add in. I think that would be epic. I think that would be awesome. Epic. Um, V Reggie, welcome. Thank you for the, thank you for the sub, man. Oh wow, like look at all the graves and stuff. We got a, a decent amount of kills, 1327. I think we got about 100 zombie kills that horde night. Not a bad little count if I say so myself. Um, they managed to smash out my middle pole though. But look how much damage that Bomba did just to like the walls and like the radius of her damage is pretty wide. Uh, so as you go up in levels, uh, the, the horde night zombies also get harder. They hit harder, uh, they come at you faster and they do more damage. So. Um, I guess that's the same as hit harder. Um, so yeah, like we right now, you can always check your game stages by pressing F1 and going game stage. My game stage is only 340. Um, so we still have a while to go until like the Horde Knights get absolutely crazy. But like even a level 340 um, Horde Knight, you guys seen, it was still pretty intense. We had to make a decent base um, in order to survive that Horde Knight. And that's kind of my goal, right? Like I kind of made the, the day one... Like, the, the six other days a little easier to handle, so you can go out, do your grinding, and do all the other crap. And then, um, come back once you're ready. Hey, what's up, Dean? What's up? Um, and then, I'm sorry, be prepared for Horde Night once it's ready, right? So it's more of, like, seven days to prepare for the Horde Night type deal. But we're doing pretty well, because it's my own mod, and I'm pretty familiar with, like, how to work stuff out on it, right? So, um, uh, we do have a bunch of, um... A bunch of coins again here. We can use some of those up. That's always fun. Uh, there's a coin system in my game. So what I've done is um, I've always found the grind in the game. Um, boring, right? Um, but it's a necessary part of the game. You, you have to have the grind. Uh, so what I've done with the grind is now uh, like with certain things. If you're destroying a building or breaking doors or doing looting, uh, you're going to get coins called... I'm going to organize this a little bit more here. Uh, you're going to get coins off of zombies called zombie master coins. Uh, you're going to get home record coins um, from breaking stuff down. Um, both types of play styles get home records, right? If you're a builder, of course, you're going to be getting these from breaking stuff down. Um, treasure coin, you get these suckers from like looting garbages and whatnot. And they give you stuff like treasures and jackpots and the other, other stuff. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we have enough of these to cash in. So we're going to, oh, I didn't use my cocktail. Damn it. Should use my cocktail. Didn't use them at all. Shame. All right. Get rid, of, get rid of a few more of these things here. Get rid of all this junk. Um, these hazmat gloves. I'm actually gonna go ahead and sell those to the trader because they, uh, they're only 116. But whatever. I'll just sell them. Never really have a use for them, anyways. Okay. So we just have some garbage on us. We're good to go. I'm gonna put those molotovs away. Definitely don't need the molotovs. I hate organizing, guys. I hate it. Okay. Oh, and I'm going to put the maps in with this stuff here, too. There we go. <laughs> All right. So let's get to the coins. So what you do is if you look at the description for the coins, if you guys are playing this for the first time, uh, you get these from like looting garbages and stuff, right? Um, oops, I'm in quest. 
Uh, so collect these coins from trash bins and bags once you have enough uh, 125. Equip in the tool belt and upgrade the treasure master block, scrap for brass. So you can also use these as a source of brass as well. Um, each one will scrap down into three brass. Uh, now, I don't want to do it because I'm not hard up for brass. Um, but eventually you get lots of these anyways. So uh, looks like my internet's going a little funky there again too, guys. Sorry about that. I uh, hope you guys didn't get lagged out. I love the elevator. Yeah, it, it's really, it really is a glitch. But anyways, uh, so once you have 125 of those suckers, uh, look at your treasure master. It says treasure master rock, but I need to change that now for 17. It's going to say um, treasure master disappearing, right? Uh, so you take these, you look at it, and then you upgrade it with 125. Don't do it more than once because um, you can accidentally upgrade it more than once. And look at that. It gave me a an extra treasure map, which is good. We need those treasure maps. Actually, we have a, quite a few of them. We should go on a treasure run soon. Uh, because you need diamonds. Because the traps in this game are hard to make, right? Um, I Honestly, guys, I fucking hate these traps. It's one of my biggest pet peeves that they added these stupid shit to the game. They're not balanced at all. Um, I, I watch people like do day 14, day 21 hordes, and they just have a whole bunch of these traps out. Then they stand there, finger up the nose a whole horde night. That's fucking boring, right? Like, they added it in the game so that people can be like, oh, look what I did. You know what I mean? So what I've done is I've made them expensive to make. But to balance that out, I've also added a whole shitload of durability to them. So you have less traps, um, but they last longer and they take a little longer to get. So the traps are la are, are locked behind like a higher level, basically, um, which I'm a big fan of because like screw surrounding a base by traps. Like unless you're into like day 300 or something, that's really not something you should be able to do. Personally, that's what I believe. And it shows my mod, right? Like... Your own play style is your own play style, but... Okay, so let's do the home wrecker now. These are the coins you get from destroying stuff, right? Home wrecker. Uh, and this is a home wrecker master. So we upgrade that with 125 of those. And then it becomes um, a shopping cart full of wonderful stuff for you. So what it gives you is a whole bunch of building supplies like stuff. So we got um, a couple things of paint that time around. Because paint is um, a pain in the ass to make. But it's very useful when you end up doing large um, builds and Holy crap, we have so much stuff in here. I think I can get rid of uh, like a few of these things. Some of this is just junk. Yeah, there we go. Slide our paint up in there. I might have to make a separate paint box for just all that stuff. Okay, so we used our home records. We used the zombie masters. Now these guys, if you're a gatherer like me, um, you'll end up getting a lot of these. And you only need 75 of these to upgrade. Uh, so we're going to go here first with the stone master coin. Uh, so what these do is if you look at the stone master, upgrade it. Turns it into a, a block, right? So, or, or um, a boulder. So what this boulder does is it gives you bonus, uh, bonus materials. So you can hit it, get some bonus materials, and it also gives you a jackpot of either either diamond or silver ore, um, which you can then place on the ground and then hit it with your pickaxe to get a whole bunch of diamonds, right? So all of these, all of these here have, um, I hear you. All of these here have um, a jackpot to them. Uh, the zombie master, we did not have enough. I think we need um, 125 of those, right? Yeah, 125. Uh, what this is is the equivalent of a secret stash plus a couple extra things hidden then. So if you guys have ever found a secret stash, um, you know how valuable those are. Uh, so let's go ahead and upgrade these a few times. Uh, this is something to do at night. I wanted to give people something to do at night as well. Like um, you can sit here and um, upgrade your stone master all night and keep going back and forth and getting bonus materials and stuff. Uh, so it's kind of like a reward system for all the boring shit, right? So you can come back, something to do at night, um, and then you get bonus stuff out of it. So our next one here is ore masters. So you can get these coins, these two different types of coins, by either hitting stone with a uh, mining tool, not a, not a stone axe, but a mining tool. Um, hitting pure stone will give you guaranteed one. Hitting um, a pure ore node will give you one guaranteed, um, plus whatever your bonus is. Um, and then if you're using boulders, boulders just give you a random chance at getting one or the other, or sometimes both. Um, so it kind of works the same way, right? Okay, there we go. Let's get these upgraded. So this rock will give us a bonus of a whole bunch of the, um, the ores, right? So it's a really good way to ramp up on your ores as well. Um, so I actually recommend doing this. Like if you guys want to skip this, I actually recommend doing it. Um, just because it's also an XP bonus. If we take a look here at my XP bar, you'll see it actually jumps up quite a bit with every hit. And that's to negate the fact that I've like really nerfed um, your everyday um, XP gain. So like if you 
like this is not vanilla so you won't be going out and by day 14 be level 100 um this is just not gonna happen i challenge somebody to do that uh without cheating but um i just found you uh over this a good stream on seven days to die oh well thank you very much welcome to the channel butterbox welcome to the channel thank you for the follow all right, guys. So um, I'm going to be right back here. I just got to grab myself a nice frouche coffee. We're doing um, a little bit of a longer stream here today, kind of showcasing Settler's Mod a bit. I do have a tutorial, guys. Um, in the meantime, if you're interested, you want to try out mods on 7 Days to Die, um, do not feel intimidated by them. They are very easy to install, especially mine. Uh, go and look up Skippy0330, how to install mods. Find the most recent one. And it literally takes five minutes, and um, you can't really fuck it up. Nolan, welcome to the channel, dude. Thank you for the sub. Um, the only thing is, is like, this is my this is my Settlers mod save. If I were to load this save up in another mod, it'll mess the save up. So the only thing you can't do is cross saves. Um, but the the mod launcher, guys, is will, will make you guys play this game all the time if you already don't. But anyways, I'm going to be right back. Just grabbing a coffee. Sorry, I just poured my last coffee, and I'm out of cream as well. So, out of cream, out of coffee. It looks like I may have to go for a run later today. Get myself some uh, some cream. Well, I'm not really out of coffee. I'm out of, like, foosh coffee, but... Mm, so good. No whistle today, apparently. Did you, guys, did you guys hear the whistle? It's not there. This is my lucky cup, guys. This cup has been through so much. It's been through so many different jobs with me. Mm. Sailor. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> um, a nice way to do an exit well dude i have a bad habit of um not matching my top with my bottom so i learned to slide out of the stream instead of standing up and it sounds like we may have some zombie friends kicking around let's go take care of them here what your fools up to my mustache is doing weird things right now make me go crazy uh, first time, guys, if you're just joining. First time I've ever had a mustache, by the way. Oh, well, lost his grave. The hell? Why are there so many out here? Huh, let's go take care of them. Yeah. Yeah. Squishing some zombie heads. That's my favorite part of my mod. Is that headshots are almost always an instant kill. Dustin. Welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for the sub, man. Hey, Leslie, what's up? Um, uh, guys, I have not seen Neve's video yet. I cannot wait to... Uh, to I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so please, please don't... Please don't... Um, oh, wait, what's a hoe doing in there? Um, what do you want to call it? Ruin. Not ruin. Spoil. That's a word I was looking for. Please don't spoil that for me. Okay. So we got some bones put away here. Let's uh, scrap that because we definitely don't need it. This thing is so full of supplies. Oh, you know what? Okay. Let's run out to our forge. Go grab whatever we have for cement mix and get some more cement going. Because uh, my next project, now that I have the um, our temporary horde base done, is to get the uh, the forge house going up and a little better. Oh, wow. Um, Guys... Damn it, they're going to chew another hole right through my damn place again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, there goes another hole in my place. Oh, look, no, no, they're not even... No, they're going to just walk in the previous one. All right, guys. See you later. Have fun in there. All right, let's go check the forges here. <laughs> Scouters. <laughs> um, those actually, the, uh, the humans ahead of the zombies are enders. Uh, they're really, really stupid humans that zombies cannot tell the difference that they are actually human. Um, what they are doing is they're running from the zombies, um, but they don't know the zombies won't hurt them. 
They're just a bunch of stupid humans. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Average stupid human. Okay, so we got a lot of that going. Holy shit, we have a lot of cement, too. Uh, we should probably going to make some more steel. I'm going to keep making more and more steel. You can never have too much of that. Holy crap, that's a good amount. Oh, look at this. The iron slots are empty. All right, we got to go back and grab ourselves some iron here. Wow, they, they're still, like, fucking up my place. Excuse me! I gave up on the first floor of my place, guys. It, it, it just, it gets trashed. It gets so trashed. Yeah, that's why I'm like, this base is temporary, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where are you guys all stuck? Oh, my elevator, you bitch. Come here. Where's the rest of you? They're all over the place. Ooh, my chicken farm. Ooh, raw meat. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's break it down so it produces again. Okay. At least I didn't check out my chicken farm. It literally sounds like they're inside the place here. Hi. Yeah, I'm right here. Holy crap. Sounded like it was right beside me. There we go. At least we'll get the zombies after us. Come here, buddy. Oh, okay. Fuck it. Fuck it. No. Guys, come on. Friggin' house wreckers. Here we go. <laughs> oh, what you guys gonna do about it? Not even paying attention. Here we go, though, lady. Um, Paul. Paul. Paul, you have the wrong voice as well. For some reason, you have a female voice. That's my bad. It's so quiet. Can you guys hear that? Do you hear that? That's the sound of no kids. It's amazing. Okay. All right, may as well grab these guys' loots up. Skippy doesn't sports. I used to I used to really be into sports. Like I um before I got back into gaming. This is how I started, guys. Um like I, I used to computer game back in like a long time ago. Then I kinda got out of it and um I was like into mountain biking and I would go to like remote spots and go fishing and stuff and um I was even doing it competitively. It, you know, it was a ton of fun, right? And then like I absolutely fucked up my ankle on both sides. And I was hung up for a while, so I picked up a PS4. Um, James, welcome to the channel. I picked up um, a PS4 out of complete boredom. Uh, I don't think any more got killed, but yeah, like, look at this. They're just fucking my place up. Nick, welcome. Uh, Neek? Neek. Um, I don't know how to say your last name, dude. Um, welcome to the channel. But um, anyways, I broke my ankle on both sides. I was hung up for a while, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy a PS4, and then I was, like, scrolling through the games, right? And honestly, guys... I didn't know shit about Minecraft, right? I was like, I've heard of this game before. I think it's a kid's game, but what the hell? Um, it's like 20 bucks, right? So I bought it, instantly fell in love with it. Uh, like, it blew my mind. I was like, holy crap, I can build things, put things together. You can make, like, forges and forge? What? This is like fucking Lego on crack, right? So, like, literally, guys, like, it saved my sanity. Okay, we already came here. Um, it saved my sanity back when I broke my ankle, right? So I, I played the hell out of that. And um, then I started looking around at other games like it, and I found Seven Days to Die, but I was keeping my eye on it. Simply, what's up? Thank you for uh, thank you for the follow. All right, I was keeping my eye on it. I uh, wasn't really into it. it looked um, kind of basic. Damn it. Damn it. I'm going to have to go out and get some wood here because they uh, they broke a couple of my, my hatches, the bastards. Um, but yeah, so I got hung up that way, right? And then um, I was still hung up for a long time. And I was playing Minecraft, and I was literally playing it for, like, 13 hours a day, right? Leg up in the air, fuck all else to do. Um, so I was playing it for a long time. Sounds like you should stream this, right? And I'm like, what, what the fuck stream? What's, he's like, no, wait, you he, he should do this on Twitch. And I'm like, what the fuck's a Twitch, man? 
You know what I mean? Like, I had no idea. I, I barely watch YouTube. I might have visited every once in a while for, like, a tutorial or something here and there. But I had no idea there's a whole YouTube culture of, like, watching gaming. And I didn't know about streaming. I didn't know about any of that crap, right? Anyways, within a month on Twitch, I ended up gaining um, 5,000 followers. Um, actually ended up getting pretty big pretty fast on there. And um, then I decided to move it over to YouTube eventually because at the time... Uh, YouTube was, uh, for, for time-wise, YouTube paid a lot more, right? Like, I, I could stream for 20 hours and make the same amount as I could spending, you know, four or five hours making a video and then leaving it there and, you know, being able to have a life. Uh, that's the one thing about streamers, unfortunately, is um, they just, they don't really get a life, right? Like, you always have to stream. With static videos, it's a little easier. Um, I can make a video and walk away, or I can make videos ahead of time and then come back. Okay, I'm gonna scratch, uh, scrap that wood hatch. There we go, all fixed. Oh, no, I want that bottom one down because what that does is it helps you go up instantly um, with the block at the bottom. There we go. Okay, so what do I have for food here? We have some raw meat. I want you to play Human Fall Flat. Actually, watching that was funny. That would be a really funny game to play with friends. I think that would be a blast to play with friends. It's probably one of those games that are only funny when you play them with friends. Um, Emil, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the sub. Hope you're enjoying the content. I'm gonna put all this random shit away. Moldy bread can go in health. I try to do my best to always put it in there. Doesn't always happen. But I try my best. Like, look at the resources we got. Oh yeah, I gotta bring some iron down to that forge over there too. Okay. So we have, uh, we have some stone. We have a good amount of sand. Crap, look at the supplies. Supplies for days. Anthony, welcome to the channel, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna put that away. Any more stone here? No, that is all the stone we have. Okay, okay. Get some more concrete mix going on. And we are out of mix. Okay, so we're still doing good on stone and everything, but we're out of mix. Oops, there we go. I'm gonna bring four stacks with me over the forges as well. Um, keep forging some more of that crap into it. Oh, damn it, brought mix with me. Let's try that again. Um, you should have seen his awesome fishing picks this summer. Yes, I love going fishing, guys. I still do that. I'm uh, a very avid outdoorsman. Um, I'm just not a winter fan, so I don't do much outdoors in the winter, to be honest. Um, but, like, if it's summer, guys, I'm out, I'm out at least an hour or two every day just being outside. I enjoy it very much. Okay, whatever. Fuck the bike. We're going for a run. It's good for your health anyways. Anthony says, Neebs is the best YouTuber I know, and I just subbed to you. Well, thank you very much, man. I'm uh, glad you came over and decided to check out the channel, dude. Do we have a Screamer over here? So, guys, I think we have a Screamer. I have changed how Screamers work in Settlers Mod. Um, they're actually party girls, and they don't call in a whole ton of zombies. They're just tougher to kill. Um, they're a tougher zombie, right? Um, so you get a party girl show up. She might call in a couple of her girlfriends and stuff, but um, you won't get the, the whore... Um, like the crazy ones that you get here. Where is this thing? Oh, there she is. There she is. So this is a party girl, guys. This is a party girl. I wanted to get her to come outside. Come here. No, I'm over here. Oh, crap. Yeah, come this way. I don't want you spitting in the building here. Here we go. Come outside. Come outside. Um, she's just like a cop. Um, she'll spit, it, spit at you and explode and stuff. She doesn't really do block damage. There we go. Oh, a couple sniper rounds and she's down. Nice. Um, now she, we, she, we might have um, a friend or two coming in. Uh-oh. That sounds actually like another party girl, to be honest. Or it's a tourist. Yeah, it's a tourist. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. So she called in a tourist. There we go. We'll get rid of him. No luck for you, bud. All right. Oh, my forge house is good again. Yeah, so um, there are screamers still in the game, uh, but they actually serve a whole different function. Um, I use their skin to make a ring girl. Um, we still haven't, uh, yeah, I think the ring girls are in until about um, game stage 2000. Uh, but what they do is um, they're on all fours, so it literally looks like the ring girl. And if she gets a hold of you, what she'll do is she'll actually hold you in place. Um, so it's really easy to get overwhelmed if you're out in the open and get a ring girl holding on to you because all those other zombies will swarm you, right? So it's, it's not a good thing. Hey, what's up, Gramps? See you moving around over there. How you doing? He decided to come and chill out close to us today. 
He's doing really well. The ring girls are so creepy. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh boy. Okay. So, uh, let's look at my inventory here. We have some running flesh that can get out of here. I may as well leave this iron behind too. A couple stacks. We have so much at this point. I really honestly don't care. Okay. Awesome. So it looks like we are ready to go today and uh, do some more supply gathering. We still got a few hours left. So uh, we'll go south. I think we'll go south this time. We haven't gone far south. So hey, Anthony, what's up, dude? Well, I hope so, man. Um, here, we're, we're more of a community than anything else. Um, we're a really tight-knit community. Our, uh, the heart of our community is on Discord. Um, guys, if you want to join our community, Discord's where it's at. Do exclamation mark Discord in the chat. It should give you the, the, the invite. Um, if not, it's on my website, skippy3.com. Skippy and the number 3.com. Um, but yeah, that's like the heart. Like we, we have a lot of console players. We have a lot of PC players. We have people that play different games. Um, I play different games, like um, a lot of multiplayer. Uh, we play more Lords Mobile together. We have a kick-ass guild on there. Um, like I play my PS4 multiplayer as well. I have a PS4 multiplayer series I do. Uh, I'm looking for my bike um, that I do with people. It's fun. It's a fun time. It's a different, it's a different style of channel. Um, we pretty much just do whatever the hell we want, right? Um, I don't use a dislike button as, um, as like an indicator for, for like the viewers, because, um, honestly guys, the thing, like I love my viewers and everything, right? But the thing I have found is that when it comes down to anything, guys, the, the hardcore viewers, the one in your community, um, are the ones that will truly support you when you really, really need them. And I found that out recently, right? Um, so we're getting back to more being community focused than making content um, people want to see is because those people who demand um, To see the content that they want to see those guys don't stick around for long anyways And very rarely do they ever actually go all the way to support you as I found out so Channels going through a little bit of a stage right now where we're doing new content bringing new things um, No, I mean it's bad time for YouTube as well. So I mean fuck it. I may as well just go all out right do whatever we want Coming from Neebs Podcast. How are you, Emil? Well, welcome, welcome. I have yet to see it. I really want to see the Neebs Podcast. Um, we're going to be doing that after the stream, actually. Um, I, I hope so. I hope it gives me a little bit of a boost. Um, YouTube's being really punishing right now. Um, like, it's not suggesting my videos at all. Uh, my suggested video views uh, from September have gone down almost... Um, to nothing right like i think in the last two weeks i've had maybe two thousand suggested video views that's bad so i like i don't know what youtube's doing but ever since september like the it just went to crap hey out of your balls <laughs> uh, i wasn't saying that to myself guys i have an old dog right beside me um he makes this horrible terrible sound when he when he when he goes to town on his ball holy shit when he goes to town on his balls and I absolutely cannot stand it. I love the dog to death, but stay the fuck out of your balls. Thank you. He'll go off to the other room and do it. Or he used to. <laughs> yeah, let's keep going this way over here. What do I think of Neebs Gaming? I love Neebs Gaming. Um, I don't watch much other stuff on YouTube. Uh, simply, well, time. Um, on top of that. Uh, but I really do enjoy watching Neebs Gaming stuff. Uh, they're pretty much what I strive for as in uh, video quality, right? Like pr production quality. Um, I started attempting it last Christmas, but soon found out the equipment I had just wasn't good enough to pull it off. Um, and right now, currently at this point in time, I'm actually saving up to buy uh, the second system so I can do more cinematic list plays. I got, I got everything out of your balls. I got everything um, good to go. So, James J, thanks for the sub, man. Welcome to the channel. Um, I have all my templates worked out. I have my workflow worked out. I just need the money now at this point to go ahead and invest in the studio so that I can do it. Because I know I can do it. It's just that one last step. See some more boulders over here. Let's keep bringing these suckers in. Um, uh, THD, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the sub, man. 
I think he's stuck behind a rock. That's why we can't see him. <laughs> I can hear him walking. I couldn't see him. I'm like, where the fuck is this guy? Ooh, here's another rock. Let's grab that up. These single ones are good, but I like finding those huge, huge portions. Ah, Sorry, you guys. Sorry you have to hear that, but drives me nuts. He's doing it on purpose, too, because um, I'm talking and not paying attention to him. What do you think of Ark Survival Evolved? Not my thing, man. Here we go. Um, what I wanted out of Ark Survival Evolved um, was an actual survival game. Like an actual dinosaur survival game style. Yeah, there sounds like there's a few zombies stuck in the rocks. Um, like I said, guys, it's all my playstyle. It's just my opinion. Don't get insulted. It's just not my thing, right? Um, with Ark, what I was hoping for is, holy shit, it's a raptor? Let's try to get myself out of this situation while it stares at me because I know it's going to gang up on me. But nope, when I load up seven days to die, oh, holy shit. Oh, look, that raptor. It's it's eating that dodo. Oh, look, it's eating that dodo now. Oh, it's eating that dodo too. Oh, look, it's not stopping eating. It's just killing things for fun now. That is what killed Ark for me. Um, just like how the dinosaurs go around and don't act like dinosaurs killed me. Morphic, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for the, uh, hope you enjoy the content. Like I said... Nothing against art, guys. If you enjoy the game, you enjoy the game. It just wasn't what I wanted out of, out of um, a dinosaur survival game. You know what I mean? Uh, to me, it relies more... Uh, oh, shit. I put my gas away back home. Looks like we're going for a walk. All right. Well, at least we are far from home. It seems like um, Ark more relies on, like, random events to be hard than actual, like, hard AI. You know what I mean? Uh, Neebs Gaming makes Ark very watchable, in my opinion. I'll watch, um, I'll watch Neebs play Ark, but, like, as far as most of it goes, I'm just kind of like, meh. Shake your cane at him. <laughs> you know Neebs Gaming, the FIFA game, is Ark Survival of Alt and Alert? Um, to be honest with you here, not quite sure what you mean. <laughs> Um, if you watch the Neebs Gaming uh, podcast, you'd already know he doesn't like Ark. Oh shoot, did I bash Ark on the on the podcast? Uh oh, uh oh. Um, like I said, guys, I'm I'm open. Guys, the one thing you learn about me is um, I'm open minded, right? Um, you'll never hear me say I'm a conservative or I'm a liberal. You'll never hear me say um, I am this because I am not anything. I am myself. And I look at every situation differently, right? Um, I've had my mind changed lots of times by logic. St usually stuff I would never think of. Um, yeah, that's just kind of giving you guys a heads up on how we run here. Okay. A lot of people like to get insulted when, when people say things. And I get it. I get it. I don't like when people insult m my favorite game either. But if they're not lying, they're not lying, right? Like when people say this game has shit AI... They're not lying. <laughs> I hate hearing it because it sucks because I love playing this game and it's true. But Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can't get some more meat here. It looks like our uh, hunger is going down a bit. There we go. Uh, yeah, Neeb said you should play it and Apps Pro felt hurt. I've tried playing Neebs. Uh, I've tried playing Neebs. <laughs> I've tried playing Art, guys. I'm the type of gamer. Den Jennings, thank you very much. Um, I'm the type of gamer that... Um, I used to be like a Call of Duty gamer, right? I used to be mad when I used to play games. I used to get pissed. I used to yell. I used to scream. And then I discovered like survival games like Minecraft where I can just let my, um, my creative side come out. And honestly, since then, any game that makes me rage quit, I put down. And um, so, uh, art makes me rage quit, not because it's hard, but because it's fucking ridiculous at times, right? Like a, a T-Rex comes in and eats everything on the island. They don't do that. <laughs> they just, you know what I mean? Like, have the T-Rex come in and fuck up your shit, but then take off again. Like, like a T-Rex would. There we go. Like I said, it's a great game, guys. I love the graphics. The graphics, ooh. Ooh, I have a decent system, guys. And, I, like, I, I will play Ark just for the graphics. Okay, I don't think we can go any higher than that. Let's check my other stuff here. 
Twisted Foot Gaming with a $5 super chat. Skippy's my game dealer. He helps me get addicted to all of these games. Thanks for the super chat. Um, for example, Twisted Foot Gaming. He's a content creator. He's a um, community member. And he plays multiplayer with us, right? It, that is who you guys could be as well, too, um, if you join part of our community. Uh, we've had so many offshoot groups come off of our community and like make their own. It, it's, it's amazing. But there we go. Okay, so our steel pickaxe is upgraded. Thank God. I'm gonna go put this other one, other ones away here. I'll combine those ones once this gets down a little bit. Let's uh, let's head back out. Grab my gas. Head back out, and we will get my mini bike because it's, it's like way the fuck out there. I almost lost exactly what I was saying. Okay, where's my mini bike? Uh oh, it's not showing on the thing now. It should show up on here though. Oh shit. Where is my mini bike? Mike um, Sheehan, welcome to the channel. Did my mini bike drop through the land? Did I lose a mini bike? Oh no. I had so much stuff in there too. Yeah, Twisted. You, you got you got a little smasher last night on Lord's Mobile, dude. What uh what happened there, man? <laughs> Uh, WWO came in on us, but, um, we fended them off pretty quickly. Okay. Fuck. Oh, there's my mini bike. It just didn't show up until it was close enough, apparently. All right. That's how that rocks. I was having a rough night. Holy crap. I would say so myself, dude. You got smashed. I think you're the only one that got smashed, too, out of all that. Um, if we had all our hitters on, we totally could have taken that guy down. No problem. Um, but the rest of these people, they have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> like I said, guys, we're a community. We play so many different, different games together. You know what I mean? So uh, sometimes during the streams, we may be talking about another game. Uh, the other game I've been checking out lately, too, is Wylands. I fucking love that game. It's a proper survival game, in my opinion. Uh, proper survival Vox game. Okay, I need to make some gas now. We went and got some gas. We just need to make this shit. Here we go. Gas barrels, recipe, gas cans. Bam. Oh, and the other thing is, too, is I think why I got frustrated with Ark is because I I was playing everything at one times, right? Like, um, I'm the type of player that really, 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 really likes working for their stuff. I'm not I'm not afraid of the grind. Um, so I always played Ark at one times, too. So um, the last time I ever played Ark, I spent 10 hours taming a dinosaur. And I spent, like, two hours getting it back home without getting killed or getting it killed. And then when I got it home, it walked straight into a wall, suffocated, and died. And that was my last arc experience. I was like, fuck this. Um, I mean, I could probably put it on like 10 or 20 times or whatever other people play it on. Maybe enjoy it a little more. So it's not as much of a grind. Maybe those moments won't piss me off so much if I spend an hour doing it instead of 10, right? But eh, it's just the way I play games, I guess. Okay, we don't want to head that way. There's water and wasteland. We actually want to head over this way. Here we go. Looking for those resource nodes and uh, looking for those boulders. Oh, I, I hit... Wasn't I already at 74? Oh, well, I hit 74k subs. That's awesome. Um, I was hoping to hit 100 by the end of the year, but it's not looking like it. Try Rust. Um, I've tried Rust too, dude. Rust is a fun game, but Rust is um, a proper PvP game, you know what I mean? Without PvP, um, I find Rust really boring, because the building kind of sucks balls on it, right? Um, in order for a content creator to do a PvP game, they need to know life it, or they won't be able to make content proper, right? Because, like, you start getting stream sniped. People will be like, oh, oh, he's on this server? Oh, he's doing this? Okay, well, let's go find him and fuck him up every single time he makes an episode, right? So, Rust is a little hard in that manner. Um, it only really works if you have a large group of people, too. That's, that's, that's also the other thing. Connor, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the sub. Hope you're enjoying the content. Rust was better when they had zombies. Yeah, and like I said, I've been a few hours into Rust. It's cool, but... You know what I mean? It's just another one of those bland survival games with, like, the average... Um, you know, put a foundation down, put a wall on your foundation, and here is a ceiling, you know, type deal. Um, I, I like them. They're fun to play, 
but they get boring real fast for me. Um, Creed, Cred, welcome to the game. Thank you for the follow. I like long projects. I'm a big long project fan. Um, that's why a survival game like Seven Days ends up keeping me because once you're done getting everything, quote unquote, um, you, you build to your heart's desire, right? You can still do whatever you want to the world. Um, on art, really, there really is no art to the building. Oh, our, our guild got over 100 million might now on, on Lords. That's awesome. Uh, now, if you guys are in a Lords, um, definitely come play our, play with us. Um, we're 95% free to play. Uh, I have um, a code that you can use for like $100 worth of starter stuff. Um, if you're into that kind of thing, right? Um, go uh, go look at my videos. Um, Skippy Lords Mobile. Um, you should find the one that says free $100 code. It has a quick introduction on how to get into our guild and how to get settled and uh, how to use the code up. So I um, might want to hit that up too. Like I said, or you could just join Discord and someone will help you out. You know what I mean? Um, Discord is definitely the best way to go. Gotta grab this coal. We have so much coal now from doing all these nodes. Like crazy. Mike Sheenan. Sheenan? Sheenan? <laughs> What's up, dude? Um, here from the Neebs podcast. Digging your stuff and how active you are with your community. Congrats on everything. Glad to be subbed. Well, welcome, man. Um, honestly, I, I hope um, even even if like 1% of you became a part of my community, um, goal achieved, right? Because um, I'm, not, I'm not just a content creator, guys. Um, this is just part of what I do, right? This is just a face of what I do. Um, I'm always on Discord. We're always talking and stuff and, and having a blast and playing other games. Like one day I might play um, Lords Mobile a little more and the other game I might play Wildlands with other people. Um, Saturday, guys, if you're a Seven Days to Die fan, and on um, Saturday I'm going to be doing my... Um, I hear a whole bunch of zombies again. Where are they coming from? Oh, they're all over there. Look at them go. Another wandering horde. You guys can just continue on doing what you're doing over there. Um, but I'm doing a multiplayer PS4 playthrough that day. And what I do is literally just open my map to the public. And it's first come, first serve, right? Um, so I do console content. I do PC content. Um, I don't really care either way. Uh, now, a lot of people ask me why I do that. I'll tell you why, okay? Um, I pick up my console controller. I turn on my console. The thing works. Any game I, I buy for that thing works, right? Yeah. Um, so that's what I enjoy about it is there's, there's no bullshit. It's just hundred percent. No bullshit. It is what it is. Everyone else has the same equipment, same, same kind of crap. So there is no like nerd balls. You know what I mean? Um, but the reason I also like PC is because just the gaming experience is just a hundred times better, but the cost is there and the maintenance is there as well. Um, like I have a good system, but I can't say I've never had problems with my system. Uh, like with drivers and other crap just randomly happen kind of sucks but like that's why I said I'm an open-minded person right I'm not a fanboy um, we actually discourage fanboyism here um, if you're defending something just simply because you like it you won't win an argument in our community you won't you got to have some bases to stand on uh, we're a very adult community as well um, we welcome younger people but we do also expect you to, to act accordingly you know what I mean if you want to sit at the adults table with us and make uh, make some adult jokes, more than welcome to. But you gotta act like one of us. You know what I mean? That's just the uh, whoa! Freaking meth head right beside me. That's just the type of community we are. And it's driven off a few people, I will admit, here and there, but you know what? We don't have any we don't have any cancerous crap in our community. That's what it is. Um, we're very strict in that way. Going around, hitting boulders. We still have a couple hours here before nightfall, and I have to head back home. But I think we're actually getting really good on the supplies, guys. So tomorrow, we should go and um, get some more looting done. Like, I haven't even touched the sky skyscrapers yet. Uh, they'll be a lot easier to go through now, though, that I have um, a higher level, higher tools and crap. That's kind of why I was saving them. Also, this playthrough, too, I'm playing with no reload on. Um, there is no reload. So I wanted my skills to be a little higher before I go and search all the valuable close by stuff. Yeah, no, it's um, it's a dodge. It's my bad. I shouldn't have bought a dodge. Okay. Yo, jump on that sucker and we will look for. I thought that was a bear for a second. Sometimes, guys, it's very easy to confuse the bears with the zombies. 
Rust and CR CSGO are the only games I have. Captain uh, Cheese, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. Um, I've recently tried CSGO again, but honestly, I have lost any skill I may have had in first-person shooters. Like, I just... I can't hack them now. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? There's like... Um, if I am going to play any more first-person shooters, um, it's going to be ones without, without HUD. Um, I just... I don't appreciate the heads-up display where you're like, oh, look, we're, this is where everybody is. Yeah. <sighs> Give me a gun, give me no recticle, make me shoot down the sights, and we'll have a blast. Uh, there are a few games out there like that now that are coming out. I can't remember the name of one. Escape from Tarkov. There is one I kind of want to try in the future. Escape from Tarkov. Um, I just don't appreciate their, um, their early buy-in packages. Uh, it's a little lopsided in my opinion. PUBG. Uh, I kind of checked out PUBG too, but honestly, PUBG is just another one of those copy and paste games. Uh, Philip Silva, welcome to the game. Uh, Philip. Phil How do you pronounce that? I don't even know. But anyways, uh, that's what I mean. Like, there's just everything lately to me just feels like a copy of the other game. It's just people start playing it because it's not the other game. You know what I mean? Um, even PUBG was kind of like, eh, this looks exactly the same as the other five games that do the exact same thing. Um, I don't know if we ran out of ideas. Like, I don't know what's happening lately with games. But it's like, here's the number 10th in the same series. <sighs> same reason I stopped playing Call of Duty 2. I just got tired of buying the same gear, or same game for $120 every year. Check out Cotton Gamer's explanation for the packages on Tarkov. Um, that's cool, dude. Like, I, I've heard opinions come from everywhere. Um, and a lot of people defend and say it's not a pay-to-win. But it is straight up a pay-to-win, man. When you buy a higher package and you get a bigger backpack um, than someone who buys a lower package, um, like, right off the bat, dude, it gives you an immediate advantage. Um, like, I'm not against... I'm not... Honestly, I am not against pay-to-win games. I am not against those games. Go for it. Don't like it? don't play it you know what i mean um but to like kind of masquerade it so that it's really not just say it call it for what it is that's all i ever say just call it for it call, call it for what it is you know what i mean like we play nords mobile um hands down the most expensive pay to play game out there um but we do it in such style that we don't need to fucking spend money to win um we're, we're just like, we've got a hive and everything going on. You know what I mean? Um, we actually make the pay-to-play guys waste tons of money. We troll them. It's fun. Um, but, yeah, no, I have nothing against it. Honestly, guys. Um, you pick that thing up. You use your credit card. It's on you, right? It's like blaming the casino for um, someone's gambling problems. You can't, right? You chose to go there. You keep choosing to go there. You keep choosing to do what you do. It's your problem. And that's the way I look at um, pay to or pay to play games, right? Um, now, don't think I ignore my community, guys. We have a very strong system, and everyone knows um, that that plays the game. And this is how I am too. Everyone that knows to play the game. If they find they're getting out of control with it and they need some help, uh, they know to come to me. Because what I'll do is I'll help them out. I'll remove them from the guild so that they can't participate anymore uh, for as long as they need to, to to stop. Right? We haven't had a problem, but if it does does come up, I am there for them. But at the same time. Um, I, I just don't like the victim mentality when it comes to stuff like that. It looks like it'll be a cross between GTA 5 and 7 Days to Die. Ooh, what, what game were we talking about? What game were we talking about? Uh, Overkill's The Walking Dead game. Ooh, I'm going to have to check that out because, guys, I am dying for another Vox game. I love Vox Survival. David, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow, man. Okay, so let's get off our bike here. It's almost nighttime. We need to do some dumping. Bad note. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. Lou Demon says, Neebs Gaming sent me. I know, dude. Major props to Neebs Gaming today, man. Um, they literally, like, I don't know. I haven't seen the video yet, so please don't ruin it on me. But I, embarrassingly, actually full out choked when they show up in the channel. I have never choked before streaming. But when they showed up, I was just like... <laughs> I was like tripping over my words. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> uh, it was awesome, actually. It was a good feeling. It was totally a good feeling. But just just the thought that they went out of their way, especially as like a, a channel of their size, to to do that for me. Awesome group of guys. I've been sending people over there for a while. Um, I enjoy watching their content, so 
um, I believe other people would as well. Because my content's similar, right? We're, we're all adults. I, I, I swear. I make adult jokes. I make innuendos. Uh, but we do it with style. I'm not sitting here screaming at you guys a whole entire time and just, like, going off the rail, right? Um, I love the way that they deliver their jokes. It, it's amazing. They, they do it so classy and mature. And I love it. Because you can be immature with jokes um, and still be mature. You know what I mean? Tagged you in the link for the game in Discord. Yeah, I'll definitely have to check that out after the stream today. After the Neves video and after the stream. I'm so eager to check out that video. You guys have no idea. I'm going to start scrapping some of these trophies I have in here too. Uh, some of this crap here that we don't need. That pot can go fuck itself. Wow, I have not said that in a while. Where did that? What the hell happened to that? <laughs> okay, we're going to go with um, Forest Ground. This is going to be for our garden in the outsides. We need to start making at least um, somewhat of a garden. Okay. Oh, we have 64 coal sitting in my, my belt here. Let's go ahead and actually um, start slamming out uh, some gunpowder. I don't have a chemistry station yet, so I'm going to have to make it by hand, which is okay because you end up getting a whole crap load of um, XP from doing that. You raise your skills and you get XP. So I don't mind wasting some coal um, because nitrate... Wait, let's go take a look at the recipes here. I'll show you guys. Um, workbench, like tables, guys. Whoops. Um, tables are always almost... Here we go. This will be easier. Tables are almost always cheaper on making supplies. So if you're making gunpowder by hand, you need um, two of each. But if you do it in the chemistry station, you only need one of each. So you get twice as much... Um, gunpowder by doing it in the table and i do believe it's quicker don't quote me on that one though don't forget to empty out the mini bike oh thank you why why much help much help it's cool how you talk about you yeah I'm, I'm really anxious to go see what they had to say um nicholas welcome to the channel dude thank you for the sub got some seeds yeah i'm gonna plant some aloe vera eventually as well here too and some yucca going on uh meat coins oh wow we got a bunch of coins up in here as well actually you know what i'm gonna keep one antibiotic on me oh it's this freaking mustache guys i'm just growing this stuff in for the first time ever in my life so um bear with me while i touch it while i touch it all the time while i touch myself on stream Was excited for Skippy to find Neebs in the Seven Days of Dicon on that. Well, like I said, dude, I don't have much time to watch stuff online. Um, but their stuff, definitely worth the time. Sweet, look at that. We got a whole bunch more room in here now. Nice. Oh, we're still making, right? Yeah, we're still making. We're still good to go. Okay. Uh, beakers can just go in random crap. Those stack up after a little while. Blaze Co., welcome to the channel. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the sub, man. There we go. Out of your balls, Lux. He's looking at me. He's like, man, just let me do it. Okay. You can scratch your beard. I can go after my balls. By the way, he's my best friend. Um, he's big and furry and old as hell. He's 18 now, Lex. 18. He's getting there. He's getting really close, but love him to death. How many times do I post a day? Uh, videos? Well, uh, once a day, usually, um, either it's going to be a stream or it'll be a video, but there's always something coming out every day. Okay. I think, uh, I think we're good to go here. I don't really need much else. It's not even morning time yet. Uh, okay. So we got our food stuff situated, our food and crap levels. Okay. So since we have some time, let's go ahead. Oh, wow. 644 ore master coins. Yeah, we definitely need to start. We need to cash in our ore masters and stuff. This is going to give us a shitload of extra ore. Here we go. So upgrade. I'm going to put that beside there. I don't need my, my handgun. We are out of bullets. There we go. All right. Bam. Just like that. Another one. Yeah, see? Um, so now what you get these for is when you're doing boulders, you get a random chance of getting these coins. Um, Elijah, welcome to the channel. Um, when you hit an actual ore node, you're guaranteed one of these coins. Um, for the stone master, you get that off of um, grinding stone block or grinding um, uh, the boulders, right? Uh, so at nighttime, this gives you something to do at nighttime. Once you get to a higher level, you'll start getting these like crazy. Um, so what we ended up getting out of that was a whole bunch of bonus 
um, supplies. So we ended up with 1,072 of, um, of each supply, lead, uh, nitrate powder, coal, and iron. Um, also, it gives you an XP boost as well. Um, XP is not easy to get in Settlers Mod uh, because everywhere else it is dolled down except for the reward machines. Uh, so try to cash them in as much as possible. Uh, now we only have a couple of the Stone Masters, so there we go. Cash these ones in a couple times. Uh, now both of these as well do have a chance at a jackpot at a diamond or silver ore itself. Okay, there we go. We got it all done. Um, Joswald, welcome to the channel, dude. Thank you for the sub, man. Okay, awesome. We'll put the lead away. We'll put all this away. And we're still good for morning. Uh, can we see Gramps? No, unfortunately, I cannot move my camera around. It's um, All my wires are all organized and tied together, so I, I don't really have much leeway on it. I have a three-year-old dog. Awesome, man. Dogs are the best. They make for the best friends. Uh, so if you want to make any of these guys um, and you're playing Settlers Mod, um, oops, here we go. What you want to do is you want to search up Master. Um, so it's got, we got one, two, three, four, five different masters, right? Zombie master, you get coins from looting zombies. Treasure master, um, eventually it'll just say treasure master. This is really early and I can't change it without fucking up the, the people's saves. Um, so you got treasure master and you can get the treasure coins from like garbage containers and stuff like bins, trash bags, all that crappy stuff. Uh, stone master or master, you guys seen how those work. Um, home wrecker master. Um, those are the blue coins that you get and you get these from breaking down blocks breaking down doors and doing that kind of stuff, right? Uh, so there's um, there's different coins for different play styles Some people just like to go out and loot and gather and they're not much of builders um, What they're gonna get is a lot of treasure coins uh, They're gonna get a lot of zombie master coins and they're gonna get some home record coins obviously because they have to break into buildings and stuff, right? Um, so the grinder, the person who usually likes staying underground or avoids a lot of, um, you know, interaction with zombies, uh, they're going to end up getting ore master, stone master, and home wrecker. So there's, uh, the, the looter and the grinder plus like the middle coin, right? Eventually I'm going to put more in, I think. Uh, but for now this seems pretty balanced. Um, what I've tried to do with the game as well is balance the leveling so that people like, you know, that like to do zombie killing will level just as fast as someone who's doing grinding, right? Because uh, that's always been off um, the different play styles, you know, like one person had an advantage of leveling over the other This time around it was definitely the advantage was definitely from mining, right? You would get to hundred like you get to the max level um, Mining way faster than you would going out and killing zombies. So I changed that um, kind of nerfed the XP balanced it out Both sides should level at about the same rate um, I have played DayZ before uh, the Kingpin, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow, man. I'm more of a person that needs a, um, a, a creative outlet or I end up getting angry. Um, that's, that's what I think it truly is. I need that creative outlet. Jordan Cook, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow, man. Hey, Zero, what's up, dude? Chat is flying. Hey, Anthony, what's up, man? I have two dogs sleeping right next to you and I'm watching the stream help. <laughs> um, yeah, it's looking like he wants to get up. He's like, you're talking, you're talking, and you're not looking at me. What the fuck's going on, dude? I have to help him get up. His, his back end's giving out pretty... He can still walk and stuff, but if he's been laying down for a while, his back end goes to sleep, and I have to help him walk for a little bit until his um, legs wake up. Poor guy. And he's a big dog, too. Get out of your balls! No, don't give me that side look. Um, when I first got him, he was 155 pounds. He was overweight, though. We brought him down to, like, 130. Mm. And he's lost some since, so I think he's down to, like, 115 now. His, uh, his bones are showing a bit, but... Um, Kennel Dog, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the, uh, the sub. But, yeah, he's an awesome dog. He's been very loyal. I feel like a dog, but I'm 39 years old. That's funny. Rice Bowl. Welcome to the channel. All right, so it's 1 a.m. Um, I really don't have much to do around here. I'm kind of actually getting bored. So let's um, actually head uh, start heading out to that skyscraper here. We'll take a look at it. Um, now, I did hit half of the um, half of the crack -a book tower, but we have not hit up that tower whatsoever yet. And that tower actually has quite a bit of good stuff in it. So uh, we're going to go check that building out. Or if I did loot it, it actually wasn't very much. Yeah, this building right here. Um, and now that I have my, um, like my tools and stuff up, it'll be so, so much easier. So we got the passing gas over here and, uh, we got, oh, I forgot I did this. 
<laughs> and we got the dishung tower. Uh, this tower is very hung. Yummy, Florence, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. I never painted it though. I'm gonna have to come back and paint that, I think, to match. Uh, check out the pic I just posted on Discord. Yeah, I'll definitely check out Discord and stuff here later to you guys. You're probably not talking to me, but, um, that other game you guys were talking about, I kind of wanted to check out. Is it voxelized? Is that a thing? Holy crap. Looks like this zombie is not going to wake up and I got lucky. <laughs> Didn't even get anything out of that one, Mercy. Alright, did I already loot up in here? I did. We've looted the gas station. Okay, never mind. It's not worth coming in here. Uh, because like I said, guys. Nothing is on reloot. There is no reloot whatsoever. I must have came in here real early on. There's a torch sitting in there. That's how incredible that thing is. All right. Well, it's still 2 a.m. We've got some uh, time to kill here. Let's go for a little bit of a tour. Um, see if I can't find any more farms in our vicinity. Because I would love finding some more potatoes or some more corn at this point. Story Man. What's up, dude? Welcome to the channel. After you watching Seven Days to Die, Neebs Gaming playing Seven Days to Die and playing by yourself, do you think it gets tougher the more people? Um, not necessarily. Uh, the way the game st stage system works is that a single player will generate a game stage, and Horde Knight will be like, okay, we'll um, we'll use this game stage for to do, um, to determine which zombies we're gonna throw at you, right? Um, so when you have multiple people, what it does is it multiplies that. So uh, one person will be at like game stage 200, another person will be game stage like 3000. And what it'll do is, okay, you're in a party with this person. Uh, what we're going to do, sweet, I just found some corn, that's awesome, is we're going to um, we're gonna half and half that with you, right? Um, so we're going to go with like 1500 for your, your um, game stage. Um, so having multiple people at high levels can, yes, make Horde Knight harder. But having um, a higher level game stage person mixed with a lower low level game stage person will actually make them easier. So that's kind of how that works. Um, and you do have to be in a certain distance from each other to, um, to actually make that happen. Oh, small tip to you guys. These dead corn, if you punch them, gives you corn seeds. So I always like to come and punch out the rest of the corn too. Handy little tip. Um, in seventh grade, I, f I grew one foot in two weeks to six foot seven. Holy crap. How tall are you? Like, how tall are you, man? Uh, the young thug says, hi, I watched Neeb's gaming videos, so I sub to you. Well, welcome to the channel, dude. I uh, do hope you're, uh, planning on sticking around, man. I'm six foot ten. Holy crap, dude. That's huge. What what update, man? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so I'm going to grab the corn out here, too. There's actually a bunch of corn in this one area. Oh, looks like we got a zombie friend, too. Let's get on them before they get on us. Oh, missed. Swing and a miss. Hey. Hey. Stop running in circles. There we go. Awesome. Oh, look at all this, all this freaking ammo. Sweet. We'll take that. Grab up the rest of this corn here, too. Um, I really need to find a potato field. I've started planting some more potatoes, but um, I'm almost out. Now I want to make some meat stew and stuff. Oh, crap. Where's a mini bike? It's over here. <laughs> Always lose my mini bike. Thank God for that icon. Um, guess not. Yeah, I'm not sure you, I'm not sure you mean, dude. Like, there hasn't been an update to 7 Days to Die on PC in a while. When is the stream ending? Um, I have no clue. I have no clue when the stream's gonna be ending. All right, corn, here's one. I'm actually just kind of waiting out daytime here. I wanna go rob the skyscraper, but it sucks being stuck in there with a bunch of dang running zombies. So we're just kind of cruising around right now, looking for corn, looking for potatoes, farm fields, all that happy shit. Oh, look, uh, I'm not grinding stone. Not grinding stone. We don't need it. Get distracted here. I'm playing Markiplier. Play it right now, Kyle. What? Okay. Oh, seriously, guys. I'm not picking my nose. I swear I'm not picking my nose. Shit's just itchy. 
Lex, I'm not talking to you, buddy. I'm sorry. Okay, just chill out. He's getting really anxious because he thinks I'm talking to him. Thinks something's going on right now. He does the same thing when I'm streaming or when I'm like recording videos too. He'll, he'll come up to me and just stare at me. And it's like, Lex, love you, buddy. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Potatoes. Nice. There's a whole field of potatoes right in my own city. Sweet. Okay. Wow. Let's go make ourselves some meat stew. Uh, meat stew, guys, is completely OP. Uh, meat stew is amazing. Have I seen YouTube rerun? Honestly, guys, when I look at those things, I have no idea who the fuck's who, right? Um, I don't watch a lot of the bigger channels. I, I just don't. Out of your balls. Hey. Hey. Oh, my God. That's right. Just because you're further away now doesn't mean doesn't mean I still can't hear it. <laughs> Fat and Lucky, what's up? Welcome to the channel, dude. Meat stew in real life is delicious. Yeah, I actually have a whole slab of meat sitting in my fridge for dinner tonight. Well, it's not a slab of meat. It's it's beef. Ground beef, but still. I'm watching you. <laughs> Poor Lex. <laughs> yeah, it, it's funny too because like, um, I try not to get mad at him sometimes because he's really really old. But at the same time, like I know his, I know his tricks and holy crap, we smoked that guy. Um, I know his, I know his tricks and stuff, so I know what he's up to sometimes. Like um, he'll uh, he'll throw himself to the ground outside if he doesn't want to come in. Um, he's gotten into that lately because he knows it's really really hard to carry him. Little bastard. Right, Lex? You're a smart little fucker. Alright, it's daytime, so that means we can actually go out and um, get some stuff done, or get some looting done, too. But I want to make myself some meat stew so we can come back to some meat stew here. Uh, because that is definitely the best way to grab some meats. Okay, what do we have for. Um, oh, wait, shoot! I need balls of water. Do I have some? I do. It's good. We'll probably have a lot more after tonight as well. There we go. And I ran out of ears of corn. But five, like honestly, guys, with the um, the meat stew, you can literally eat one of those a day and stay full. Um, so five will last you like five days. Skippy math, right? Oops. Speaking of skippy math, I did not put a long enough burn time in this. Here we go. Much, much better. All right, let's head out and do some looting then. Get this shit show done with. Oops. So I'm not going to bring my sniper with me. And I'm going to put it in the right container. There we are. I'm making homemade pizza for supper. I love making homemade pizza. Uh, I should get back into that. I have a, like a, a nice stone, um, stone play for it as well, too. Um, making... Um, Making pizza on stone? Oh my god, what a difference in the crust. Love it. I'm back, it's working, I think. That's funny. Well, we've only had a couple issues here with um, YouTube today and streaming, so it seems like we're doing okay. Alright, so we're gonna go and do some serious looting here. We gotta get this um, skyscraper done up. Lights not on. Nope, we are good to go. Alright. Start killing some of the sleepers here that uh, might appear. You're quick enough. You don't really have to worry. About them. Oh crap! You don't really have to worry about them. Damn it! That's my last one too. Oh, some painkillers. You know what? Oh, damn it! I'll escape tab. There we go. I'm gonna uh, use these suckers up as well. Lex, why do you go onto the hard floor to try to get up? You know you can't get up on the hard floor. Just, I, I went out and, and bought like four hundred dollars worth of carpet. So there, so you can get up. Nope, you'll completely go off to the side and then try to get up. I, I'm pretty sure, guys, he does it for attention, because um, he'll like literally push himself off of the carpet and then try to get up. No, you can stay there for now. Ah, yeah. it's not a good way to demand attention. He's like, look at me, I'm stuck now. I can't get up. <laughs> Come help me. Uh, I was here since like uh, 20k. You're doing great. Oh well, thank you, Pig Leg. It's good to see you as well too. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping in and saying hello. 
No, you gotta learn your lesson, Lux. I'm not gonna come save you every time you do that. You're doing it on purpose. He's a very dramatic dog. Very dramatic dog. He'll do this now for the next hour and, until I go get him. All he has to do is push himself right back into the carpet and he'll be able to get up. He's literally, like, his back end is on the carpet. But he's refusing to. Oh, maybe we did come through this building. I thought we didn't loot this building. Oh, well, let's go double check, make sure we've gotten everything then. Hmm. I want to get to the upper floors. The upper floors are better. Um, Alan Miller, welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for subbing. I hope you enjoy the content. All right. So we got some more of these frames going. What I like doing in these skyscrapers is just literally replacing replacing the floors. So much easier to do than try to make your way up that stupid maze uh, that they have in the buildings. It's actually kind of rather annoying, to be honest. Oops, I missed another one. <laughs> Trying to catch up with the chat here. Joseph uh, Palenzo. Palenzo? Did I say that correctly? Welcome to the stream, dude. Thanks for the follow. Oh my god, I'm fucking up all my windows here. There we go, we're back. Okay, awesome. So I know it's a really quiet day, guys. Um, as it gets closer and closer to Christmas Day, um, we'll get like less and less people in the streams. Uh, so those that are actually here, I want to thank you. Because uh, I know like time is precious right now. And uh, you're using it up on me, so much, much appreciated. Oh my god, Lex. Buddy. If you're serious about getting up, you'll get up. You know what to do. See? This is the fights we have all the time. My old dog is the same way. It's in the habit of living in one spot in my bed. It's, ugh. Yeah, you know what? Actually, Lex went through a phase like that where he was, like, constantly, like, licking one spot. Um, he stopped doing it once I moved. What do you, uh, he like literally licked the paint off the wall in, uh, in one spot. Like just lick the paint clean off the wall. It was done. That was it. Jesus. Nice name there, um, fan. <laughs> if you, if you stream on Christmas. Yeah, I won't be streaming on Christmas. Uh, um, I, I did like previous years, but now that I'm with my family, it's much better. Gibzilla, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the sub. Hope you enjoy the content. Why do dogs chew on suck on underwear? Well, I can tell you why they chew and suck on your underwear. Fucking wash that shit. Jolene. Saw you on Memes Gaming and came to check you out. Oh, well, hi, Speech. Well, welcome to the channel, dude. I uh, honestly hope you enjoy the content. Great community we have here, man. Great, great community. Oh, it's a toilet. Damn it. Let's break these bad boys open. Uh, air conditioner. Oven. Got two cooking grills on that. We're going to scrap it. Stop it. Now you're in your balls again. Oh, you're just, you're asking for a loving. Yeah, he's doing this purposely right now, guys. Don't feel bad for him. He's doing this purposely. All he has to do is back up a little bit, and he can get up on the carpet. Nope. It's because I'm talking, and he's probably wondering why I'm not paying attention to him while I'm talking. Um, usually, he, like, goes and chills out somewhere else where he can't really hear me talking when I stream. Uh, but today, he was chilling out right beside me, so. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. He wants to come and chill out for a stream? That's, uh, that's cool. All right. Looking for them boxes. Hey, Dean, what's up? Well, thanks, man. Thanks. It's always good to hear from my uh, my viewers as well. Oh, look at that. We got one hidden right in the middle there. Do you see it? You see it? Almost missed it. Uh, a wire tool. We do not have one of those yet. And switches. I will take those. Nice, nice. Okay, I don't think there's any more hidden in the middle. Um, but I almost want to check now. Let's take out this uh, this brick block here. In the middle of this pile of random brick blocks. Yeah, I know it's just another brick block underneath it. I thought maybe we'd find something super special, but not today. Tristan, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the sub. Uh, hungry for underwear. <laughs> um, watches Wyland's videos too. Uh, who else does have Wyland's videos? 
Oh, my Wildlands videos. I love Wildlands, guys. Such a good game, okay? Um, if you're open-minded and you can appreciate a game for its depth, it's definitely a good game. Justin, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. I am Canadian, dude. Hey, Cal, what's up, man? So for all those people coming for uh, Neebs Gaming, welcome, guys. It's good seeing you here. Um, I do hope you enjoy the content. It's not as fine as you uh, Neebs Gaming, but eventually it'll get there. Um, I'm learning. I'm investing. So um, don't, don't be too hard on me. Hard on. Yeah, I'm Canadian, too. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go over to Streamlabs here and check that out. Um, ben Gong, welcome to the channel, dude. Thank you for the sub. Once again, guys, sorry if I missed the subs. They've been going off like crazy today. Uh, thanks to the fine guys over at Neebs Gaming. Bunch of fine guys over there. Yeah, and if you guys haven't done so yet, do me a favor. Hit that like button. It uh, does help push the stream up the uh, stream search results and uh, tells YouTube that it should re recommend it to people. And there you go, Lex. Now you're back on the carpet. That's right. I just had to wait you out. Love that dog, but I swear, sometimes so dramatic. So dramatic. No, don't drag yourself over to me now. I'll pay attention to you soon, buddy. I love you. So dramatic. <laughs> uh... Julio Chavez, uh, did I say that right? Julio? Julio Chavez Chavez. I'm sorry guys, I do not know Spanish. Like as a Canadian, like I just, I have no clue when it comes to that stuff. Eric, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the sub, man. Okay, so we're gonna slap this sucker up. Um, yes, I do Twitch as well, guys. Um, I kind of split up streams between Twitch and YouTube. Um, Twitch, I'll usually do like my smaller stuff unless it's like a promotional. Um, Twitch is more of an intimate stream. Um, if you guys are into that, usually my YouTube streams are pretty busy and it's really hard for me to communicate with people. Um, uh, Lex, don't, why would you put yourself back on that floor? It's again, pathetic, buddy. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really slow right now. Anyways, it's good though. It allows me to actually con or connect with you guys. That's what I want. Uh, Max, welcome to the channel, dude. Uh, I subscribe to your channel too, by the way. I'm here from Memes Gaming. Awesome, dude. Awesome. World peace, one day at a time. Okay, I think we got all the rooms in here now. Pretty sure we got all this. Okay. All right. Oh, looks like we might have... Oh, wait, I think that's a blockade right over there. Let's go check it out. Let's flex and bust right through this wall. This wooden wall, which I am busting with a pickaxe. The real killer dreams. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. Um, it's nice to have a community as most so many people that you... Yeah, we have, we have a really, really strong community. Um, if that's one thing we offer is our community, right? Uh, Multi-platform, multi-game. Doesn't matter if you're an open-minded person and you want to have decent conversations and find good groups of people to game with. Uh, this is definitely the place to find us. Okay, yeah, I think I got everything here. I'm going to have to go and, um, and find where that... Um... Ah, here it is right here. Did we go over this way? Let's just double check. Yeah, we got over there. Uh, not sure what's in here, actually. Let's go check this out. I think this is a corner room where you go out, but we're gonna go up the stairs instead. Whoa! Oh, okay, that's a zombie. I was like, what the hell's going on? Holy crap, there's a whole bunch of construction workers in there. <laughs> Look at them all. Just a bunch of construction workers chilling out. Love it. There's gonna be madness. Let's make sure we're good. Lax, stop being so dramatic. Oh crap! I jumped on one of my own spikes. Come here, boys. Come get me. Come on, use them spikes up. Nice. There you go. You guys weren't very smart construction workers. Oh, and you're gonna chew. There you go. See, look at that. He's like, you know what? Since we didn't use these spikes up, let's go ahead and do it. So these guys won't wake up. These are dead sleepers. So, oh, no, this one woke up. There we go. Now we have a whole bunch of helmets to go and smash. <laughs> there we go. One, two. 
And three. And four. Perfect. There we go. Die, bitch. I love this room. It's so random and creepy. Uh, the room above it, though, watch out. There's a lot of stuff you can fall through. Okay, Lex, come on, buddy. Like, you know, you know what to do. There we go. I might have to go push him onto the carpet again, guys. He's um, being a little dramatic right now. There we go. Do I still have the little chihuahua? No, unfortunately, the rescue chihuahua um, passed away. Uh, he, he lasted a couple months. But he um, he went in his sleep silently. Um, so good for him. Um, I would never, ever, ever go and get a chihuahua. They are little fucking asshole dogs. Um, I'm not a big fan of chihuahuas. But I also love animals. And um, that that little guy was in such a bad situation that I didn't, I didn't mind sucking it up for him. Um, but yes, I would never go and get another fucking troll again. Those things are terrible. Terrible little dogs. They're mean. They're aggressive. They piss all over the place. <laughs> uh, the Amzies. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, they're just, they're very terrible little dogs. Like, um, I, I, he came from a rough house, so I was really, 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 really patient with him. Like, he had a really bad past. So, like, I had the understanding and everything, right? But I can tell you, holy shit. That dog would go off. It was, like, for hours. It would have to fit for hours on end. It would just... It was so angry. Such an angry little dog. I've never seen a dog that angry before. Um, but, yeah, like, his breed's already bad. And on top of that, he was abused. So, it was even worse. Oh, shit! I almost fell through the floor. <laughs> oh, look at all the happy stuff over here that we can grab up. Nice. Come on, grabs. You're better than that. There you go. Now you're back on the carpet. <laughs> now he's yawning at me. He's like, yo, come help me, dude. Seriously, man. I've been making a scene for the last 30 minutes. Multiplayer on Wyland. Um, Wyland's cheap as fuck, too. It is 100%. Oh, nice. A little SMG in there. Nice, nice little find. Um, like, it's dirt cheap. For the entertainment value I've gotten already out of Wyland's. Um, it's actually Islands. Sorry, guys. I say Wyland's because if I say Islands, people are going to go and search, like, YouTube for... Or, or search, like, YouTube and, and Steam. For islands. It's actually spelled Wylands, but it's pronounced islands. You guys know how that goes. Okay, right on. So we've uh, searched this room for everything it has. There's nothing else in here. Uh, these are washrooms. I don't think we really want to go into those ones. Nope. Um, see how we're bashing doors, though, and collecting home record coins? Um, this is how looters get them. Just like that. Um, old Wild Bill. Welcome to the channel, dude. Hope you're enjoying the content, man. Oh, damn it. I can't scrap stuff because I got a whole bunch of gunpowder going on. Oh, uh, okay. That's okay. That's okay. Hey, what's up, zombie? Nice, nice. Okay. I think I'm going to have to go take care of this dog, guys. He probably he probably needs outside, too. So, um, I, I plan on streaming a little longer today, but he's being very persistent. It's been it's been a little while since he's been this bad. Uh, so, I got to go and take care of this little bastard. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? You must have been laying right there. Um, I got to go take care of this little bastard, guys. I might be back here a little bit later for another stream. Oh, crap! That was fucking close. I forgot about those. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! Holy shit! The zombies are doing it now. Okay. Anyways, guys. Right before I was about to die. Um, I want to remind you. Stay classy. <laughs> um, always back up those game saves, guys. And for everybody that's here from Needs Gaming. Awesome. I'm going to go and uh, let this guy outside. And then I'm going to go watch that video. Um, I might be back a little later. Um, I'm still feeling pretty good here today. So I think we'll come back later and do another stream. Uh, maybe some more Settlers mod. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, guys. Stay classy. Always back up those game saves. I'll uh, see you in the next video. And uh, enjoy the end stream song, guys. Peace out. If I can get there. <laughs> here we are. Okay, bye, guys.